Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to our <laughs> Star Trek Adventures campaign, The Shackleton Expanse. We've been talking about stabbing Klingons in a flirty way, uh, and we cannot wait to get underway with tonight's session. Joining me from the comfort of all of their own homes this week, uh, these beautifully assembled human beings uh, who are playing a group of beautifully assembled aliens. So let's let's check them out. How you doing, Anita? How you doing this week? Uh I am doing well. I've got a house guest coming over tomorrow, so I'm going to be furiously cleaning as soon as I get off of this call. I'm very <laughs> excited. We will not make it too long tonight, I promise. Yeah, all good. <laughs> and Tom, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm looking forward to uh, to playing tonight because uh, uh, we haven't played for a bit. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. Beautiful. Tim, you're coming from us from your own home hello what's up peeps welcome how's it going Hi. good yeah i'm here i'm writing lots of writing oh my god so much writing <laughs> uh, uh is this in prep yeah. for your trip uh, i'm prep for my trip and prep for two new games i just picked up and in prep for the season that i'm writing for the star trek adventures that i'm running that uh, actually, when we go on break, I have a conversation I need to ask all four of you. So oh, yeah. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, anyways, yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, that's what happens when you write 16 episodes <laughs> at once because you're pretty. <laughs> that 16th one is not going to survive. I'm, like, I'm so bored. Then you're going to get like two <laughs> sessions in and they're going to just derail you completely. I can tell already. No, 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 no. I'm like, I'm like, all right, this is the, this is the outline, people. <laughs> this, this the story just stuck into it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so great. Hello. Oh, how you doing? I've never knowingly ever stuck to a story yet, but um, I'm okay. I'm having one of those like days, so um, I'm looking Ick forward day. to stabbing someone or something today. That's cool. It's the energy I think today amongst the group. It's very stabity. So I can make okay. it an opportunity. Excellent. Yeah. Good. I hope they're an authority figure. <laughs> you got to stay on brand, haven't you? I suppose I have to. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, before we get underway, we are still running our competition to win one of the Roll20 modules for Star Trek Adventures. What we're using to play the game, it gets you all the cool rules in a searchable format. You can use the character sheets and all that kind of goodness. Uh, so if you want a chance to win that uh, in chat, if you enter exclamation mark Roll20, um, Nightbot should remind us as well. Uh, then we'll be drawing winners uh, about halfway through the stream and towards the end of the stream. So stick around to find out if you managed to grab a copy. Um, it's been a very busy uh, little week for us at Modifia, so I just thought I'd mention tomorrow our Cohort Cthulhu Kickstarter begins. We're launching at 12 p.m. British time tomorrow. So uh, adjust for your local hours. Um, and then we'll be running that all the way through October. Uh, so stay tuned for all of the news, all the stretch goals being unlocked, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, it'll be all over our social media and everything, of course. And you can find links to it at modifius.net, modifius.us as well. Our web stores. Right then. Uh, I get to do something that I've been wanting to do for absolutely ages with a Star Trek game, and I get to do a uh, last time on Star Trek Adventures, The Shackleton Expanse. Oshron, you're standing on the bridge of the uh, USS Thunderchild, watching uh, the Bellerophon emerge from the cloud cover of the planet below, the Candidate 3. The uh, USS, not Odyssey, you said Odyssey before, and now I've forgotten, it's the Galaxy Class one. Venture, the USS Venture, emitting this huge kind of pulse, this like beam of energy from its deflector shield, kind of trying to disperse some of the like radiation, like electromagnetic interference that's been screwing with the system. Uh, in order to cover the Thunder Child, the Romulans, the Warbirds themselves are doing their own work on an, just around. You can still see them on the viewer and they're keeping their distance, but they're still um, are kind of in the system, still trying to manage their own people. Oshan's Osh just thinking as he's watching all this, this is the most badass job ever. Uh, and then, standing on the bridge, 
you see the following phenomena unfold before your eyes. A massive beam of energy that the Venture is using to uh, pushing through its navigation dish changes in colour and then freezes in place. It then spins into a glittering swirl of prismatic light. Space rips open up before you, spilling out in every colour of the rainbow in every possible direction, cycling through the spectrum into the countless hues and shades you never thought could exist, and which carry the scent of a hundred thousand species of flowers. The swirling vortices ripping through the bridge uh, and on the planet and aboard the ships are approximately humanoid-sized while those are uh, humanoid size in front of you. As you take in the spectacle, a feminine form appears within each vortex, in front of you specifically on the bridge, presenting the same message to each of you at the same time. As before, this is a tall humanoid alien, clad in a form-fitting dress with what appears to be wings on their back and a small sweeping tiara atop their head. They have short, dark hair and wide open eyes that are solid blue with no evidence of an iris or pupil. As they take full shape within the shimmering light, they reach a hand out toward you, either in greeting or in supplication. Friends, well met. I'm Ash Tamalia of the Displaced Tilakal. My people and I need your help. We've been trapped for centuries, millennia, in this broken dimension and we must escape. The prismatic lights flicker, nearly going out, then surge back. The stress on Ash Tamalia's face is palpable as the light flickers, as if they're making some great effort to keep these vortices open. We are out of time. We cannot further hold open the way. Take my hand, please. Oshron, they reach out a hand to you, specifically somehow being able to appear in multiple places at the same time. Uh, I'll kind of take a quick glance at the bridge. Uh, Everyone is looking at you, and you are the only person here who has made contact with this person. <laughs> All right. I kind of give the captain like a little bit of a shrug, and then I reach out my hand. You reach out. Okay. As you reach out, you are pulled through that vortices and there's like it feels like you're being pulled across space and time itself that vortices whipping past you streaming past you 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 yourself are at warp for a moment before everything falls to darkness and we go back onto the ship uh the uh, the bridge of the uh station uh and here we have episode 17 eight lifetimes of business acumen and uh anita you have the log today it's an echo log oh we can't hear you you're muted start eight four eight nine or 2.7. In eight lifetimes and countless business ventures, I've never been set up quite like this. Framed for the Theragen problem in the entire station. That's a low blow even for the Syndicate, and I'd be impressed if I wasn't filled with seething rage. I know I could unpack this, though. With Tadok's help, we could probably get Eka's place back on track. But I might need to enlist a few others. All right. Leaving the custody of Starfleet and Lieutenant Commander Sardivelli. What's your first move? I want to tell you right now, I have not prepped too much. Like, I know all the kind of, like, overarching circumstances and everything, but this is, like, I imagine a bit of a, not a shopping episode for us, right? But it is a, like, player-led episode like you want to invest you want to do an investigate you want to figure out what to do and stuff like that we can bring in supporting characters as well um and tim we can bring in like uh one of the lower deckers as well that kind of thing uh, uh i have i, I have I the character builder ready to go to listen to what that needs and just kind of throw something together we can do that yeah. you, we can play i've got an idea for uh for jeff o'connor as well 
Okay. But yeah, go ahead. I think Eka's first order of business is heading straight back to Eka's place, making eye contact with Tadok and saying, my office now. All right. So you head through the Galleria um, and back. Uh, let me get the Galleria well, sound up. Um, and you um, head past um, a busy Galleria this time of the day uh people trying to get a meal or just shopping in general or just kind of spending some downtime here as well and you finally reach Eka's place and um a couple of security officers uh standing just away from the uh restaurant the you know recreational outlet that you've created uh not on guard as such but they're kind of stood starfleet security casually um looking over it occasionally, looking kind of um, over the passing crowds as well, uh, as they kind of make eye contact with you maybe very briefly and then kind of look away slightly sheepishly. I'm, there is a, a dagger glare at each of them as Eka walks into their establishment. <sighs> you can see immediately that, yeah, this place has been shaken down. Uh, it has yeah. not been treated incredibly well. Um, like there are, you know, data plaids on the floor. Um, seating's been, they've been like literally thrown around, but like seating's been turned over. Tables have been moved. They've been like, you know, they've clearly been scanning and searching and stuff like that. And so, yeah. you know, there are probably, you know, a few drinks missing, um, bottles that have been knocked over and Tadok kind of you know takes a step and crunches on um a, a kind of um saurian brandy or something that um is now um making the carpet a nice color that was a good vintage too my office we need to have a discussion very well staff meeting do you like everyone you for now. I'll probably call in some others in a little bit. Very well. S sort of get into the office, sit down behind this sort of nicely appointed desk. Uh, a few uh, on one of the walls, there's a few tchotchkes. Uh, and a small uh, alien looking artifact um, that uh, is sitting in like a nice uh, transparent aluminum case. Um, and Eka's just gonna kind of look over all of the things because each one of these little tchotchkes is something that belonged to a former host. Ella rules up to some tricks, and I don't think she's working alone. It would appear so, yes. And I got out of this by the skin of my teeth. I hope you did not have to part with much skin. More than I wanted. And he kind of, like, even for Vulcan, he kind of looks at you quite quizzically, and it, you can tell he's kind of looking at your mouth, like... M metaphor. I'm not... Uh, I was not knowledgeable of his metaphor. It's a human one, it's fine. That is not biologically accurate. One does not have skin on one's it. teeth. I, I don't get half of the ones they say, these aphorisms. Anyways... More to the point, you didn't tell them anything when they questioned you? They did not get around to questioning me. Interesting. They questioned Just you me, then. Huh? Interrogated, more like. They told me I was under arrest for the uh, suspicion of um, dealing uh, controlled substances. Origin. And he like raises a Vulcan eyebrow. We didn't bring any on the station. I have no knowledge of any Therogen dealings that we have partaken in, nor hosted here. 
Eka's going to look around the office. Mm -hmm. Nor do I. This is a clean establishment. Just lifts up something on the desk, checking for bugs. Yeah, tell you what, make me um, make me an insight and security check. Love to. Difficulty one. It's mm -hmm. two successes. Or, no, that's not me. Let me just scroll all the way down. Ooh, that's a success and a complication with the 20. All right. I'm going to bang some threat. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, but actually, no, so it's not a momentum. But you get a success. You don't uh, find any bugs in a quick kind of scan, I guess, of the office. Starfleet aren't particularly known for their bugging. Um, yeah. Have you spoken to our two new hires? I have not. Were they arrested along with us? I didn't see them at the security office. Um, I need to look at my notes for names very quickly. Jagadish got called in for questioning. Said that uh, he was the one dealing. Mm. That would make sense. A good link would. if you were framing us. Uh, what was the name of the uh, other, the Orion, uh, the female that we saved? Sima. Uh, I have it as uh, Sima. Okay. I'm going to edit that and actually change that because uh, I have it uh, set as a uh, name. <laughs> uh, it's uh, S-I-M-A? Uh, S-double-E-M-A. Okay, but, gotcha. Yeah, Seema. But, you know, spelling isn't a holy matter between the servers. Seema. No worries. Um... Have you spoken to Seema? Uh, I have not. Not since the arrest. We should probably get eyes on everyone. <sighs> Would you like me to find them? Probably best. And, uh... Call the two new cooks in, uh, and uh, see what we can do about putting them to work. Very well. I think security around here. Uh, so he uh, leaves, and only a few minutes later, uh, Tom, Susie, you want to introduce yourselves? Mm-hmm. I forgot what the mocks and twins look like. We're like oh, shortish yeah. humans. Uh, we look a bit rough and tumble. I think uh, they're like redheads, if I'm not redheads. I think, I think. Redheads, yeah. Yeah. with like yeah. chef hats on now. Yeah, yeah. Like I think we still got like we still got like our rogue trader gear on. We still look like ruffians, but we got little chef yeah. hats. Or just put like a chef whites on to, over the top of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's literally all we did. Got a little tea towel on. tucked into my waistband. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there you go. Bye, boss. You all right. Not really. Um, <laughs> running into some problems lately. Wasn't the souffle, was it? Yeah. No, the souffle was delicious. Oh, uh, I, uh, yeah, I think you've really missed your calling, honestly. I was all Terry, in all fairness. She does very dramatic no, bow. The sauce was all you, though. I mean, yeah, I know how to, to do a few sauces. It's, it's pretty much just like surgery, really. Some fluids go in here, some things go there. 
all adds up in the end. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need you two to uh, do some reconnaissance around the station. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, some people are trying to uh, put a bad name on our business. I'd like. But we already had a bad name. name. Or do you mean a worse name? This is a Wait, good what? establishment. What is with people thinking that this is a, a listen, low listen, brow Listen, boss, I'm place. sorry. Don't, don't listen to Kerry. He's an idiot. Puts her hands over his ears. He's an idiot. Mum never liked him as much as she liked me. Dropped him on his head a couple of times. So sometimes things are a bit loose. So Anyways. what kind of re reconnaissance are you after? You have to like stealthy nobody sees his reconnaissance or we're talking more like reconnaissance and then she pulls out like a chef's knife from a belt that kind of reconnaissance subtle for now no need to be over the top about it all right and uh, it's going to slide across a pad that basically says find out who's dealing therogen on this station and get the names to me and I want to know who's supplying them. All right. You got it, boss. Yeah. Okay. I've got Kerrigan Terry on this one. I should probably also work with someone a little bit more above board. Tim, what kind of character do you think that uh, you'd be making for for this? I'm open to uh, suggestions for what else I need. For I, I mean, at the moment, I've got a, an Adosian uh, uh, named Braximus El Frontando. Uh, just call me Brax. Um, uh, he's very good at flying, uh, not bad at science, has focuses in small craft infiltration and fun chemicals. That's the perfect person for this task. Uh, I think that I'm going to- Weird uh, hates, like, like, a, like a player paid attention to what's going on. And yeah, exactly, I love exactly it. Exactly what was needed for this. Exactly, I love it. Um, I think uh, I think that, uh, I think that uh, once Carrie and Terry leave, uh, I'm going to call in uh, to Doc and get him just be like, can, can you get me the Afrosian? The Afrosian? Uh, Edosian. 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 That's even better. The fact that you think it's called Afrosian and keep miscorrecting it. The idea that a trill can get something wrong after eight light times. No, just I makes mean me it's happy. it's fine. <laughs> uh, the the Edosian. Um, what's his name? Brax. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Brax knows a little bit about. The kind of things that we're dealing with, it might be good to pair them with uh, Carrie and Terry. Someone needs to have a little bit of brains. And I love Carrie and Terry. Thinkers, they are not, they almost got me killed. He describes illicit substances as fun chemicals. Are you sure this is wise? I mean, is anything at this point? I'm doing an off the books investigation. Understood. Uh, and he goes off to collect you, then. You are brought before Eka in their office. Rax, hi. Eka, it's been a while. How you doing? Uh, I, I'm steepling like all three hands together in front of me. I love it. They've got one that comes out, so it's like making a triangle steeple. Yeah. Yeah. Um, could be better. Uh, could be I like... <laughs> was hoping to enlist your services. Uh, I've already got you know, I'm always, always ready to be enlisted for your services, Eka. Oh my god. Um, that was there was like there was zero sexual tension with that whatsoever. 
no, no, I, I, I get it. It's, okay. uh, uh, <laughs> I'm that's saying kind it so Echo's that reaction. anybody listening can't interpret yeah. that in the way they choose. <laughs> and, and X just like, oh my God. Um, I'll probably just grab. Can you also get Carrie and Terry in here? Oh, those two? Again. Really? Yeah. I mean, I need you to work sounds good, Ekka. What are we What are we doing? What's the plan? And I'm just gonna hand that same sort of pad over with the note. Someone's mm. stealing Theragen. We're going to need to find out maybe the chemical composition of it to just trace it back to a supplier. Theragen. Where did that come from? That's what I'm trying to find out because Starfleet's trying to frame me for it. Bam. Yeah. Could I use my underworld medicine focus yeah. to think up whether um, Kerry has heard? What does he know of this particular drug, its uses? All right. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Because Roll me... he ha he, he's a bit of a drug addict. Sure. Roll me reason and medicine. Or you will not be addicted to this. Reason and medicine. Yeah. Okay. Difficulty zero. Can I assist? Can I assist with the science? Yeah. Absolutely. As I'm literally like reaching over and scrolling reason on the pad that's been given to yeah. him to pull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Reason and science for you then with one assist die. So that's cool. one from um, Tom. May I have an NPC? I can. Oh yeah. Oh sorry. Hang on. That's okay. I'll just add a character, rando character. Do it with your mind. <laughs> Roll the dice. Um, all right. I, I just do it too hard. I might fart. <laughs> I just created a random uh, Dross Esky. I'm stealing that name. That's Dross right. Esky. That's, that's solid. I Roll twenty name. names sometimes, and I'm like, never in a million years am I yeah. using that name. But Dross Esky. Yeah. Sounds uh, like I want to make a note of that. Sounds like a hockey character. player. Dross Esky. Yeah, I like that. I'm stealing it. Dross Esky. Dross Esky off the blue line. Draws asking um, for the Leafs. <laughs> like an Enya cover band. Um, okay. An Enya cover band. I don't know why I thought of that. I don't Jesus. know why I thought of that. <clears throat> uh, okay. So not Drosesky. Uh Right. I need the assist roll from you, Tim. Sure. Uh, where is that? Where is that located? Uh, oh, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Supporting characters. Bam. Oh, sorry, it's not in your journal. Well, there it is. Well now I see me. it. Well done, me. Hi, Dross. Let's change that for you. Oops. Oh, keep it, Dross. Dross oh, okay, I'll change it. I'll no, I, no, I'm keeping it. I'm stealing it now. It's mine. It's oh, my okay. name. Well, fine. That's not my name. You can't have it. it. You can't have it. She's taken name. it. Tim, 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 Tim. You've copied it, right? Because I'm getting Tim, Tim. rid of it. Yep, I wrote it down in my amazing list of character names on my phone. Okay, great. Uh, and this is Reason and Science. Yours is reason and science, yeah, chemical composition and all that kind of stuff. We've already got one success, difficulty zero, to see if we can get another or a couple. Fun chemical focus applies. That was control and command. I will... And that is the wrong buttons. Let's try that again. Huzzah! Still doesn't help. No. Okay, so Tom, you've got one momentum uh, to ask some follow-up questions, but the basic information that I can give you is that, uh, yeah, Theragin is a recreational version of uh, a uh, Klingon chemical weapon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, do I have any questions that I can give, or is or is that it? Yeah, you've got one momentum to spend if you want to ask a question to obtain information. And I will tell us the truth. Anita, is there any particular question you would like to know about this particular drug? About this particular drug, or okay? Um, yeah, it's got to be related Terry to, to like. It has to be related to what, to Yeah, to, to to what um to what Terry was looking to, Carrie was looking to. Uh, um, spitballing. Uh, we could ask about how you make it so we know what to look for. Like if it if it needs like a big meth lab, or if it needs yeah. just like a little 
Okay. Like, what, uh, what is required for the production of How do I make this drug? How do we uh, make a lot of How do we of make it? Because right. I tried it once and it was great. terrible. <laughs> um, okay, so the... Um, Therogen... Shackleton Expanse do not endorse the use of <laughs> biological yeah, chemicals. chemicals. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Uh, used to yeah. be weapons as well. Therogen is a chemical compound. Uh, it's kind of a nerve gas, essentially, by the Klingons. So okay. you you would know you can know the chemical composition of that nerve gas. Okay. Its pure form is lethal, but when diluted with alcohol, it temporarily deadens certain nerve inputs to the brain, having a calming effect on an enraged person. Oh. So a th it's a therogen derivative is what is uh, is what is like um, dealt in on the station. Okay. So he will come in and he oh, he will come in. And go, I thought I saw something like this before. Yeah. Um, and he'll he'll put the pad down with the information that he's found on it in, on the table in front of everyone. Yeah, it used to be, um, those Klingons used to use it as a weapon. Um, mix it with a bit of booze and, uh, you get a nice little, uh, nice little kick from it. You gotta make sure that, that, that it's right, you know, otherwise you're, <laughs> you're, you're kind of dead. Makes sense for someone who's trying to push in on my business to, uh, we serve alcohol. It's, I mean, that would also make any place that serves alcohol target first off we're gonna make sure that there is no therogen on the premises so to doc can i get you to do a full scan of uh, every bottle that we've got even the even the stores in the back room of course and he heads I'm off setting to, do to that. doc to the boring to the boring work <laughs> Or I might even just get uh, another minor NPC to do the boring work of scanning all the bottles. Yeah, like to Doc would be all volunteer to work. sip every drink. Just he and the he and the bar sorry, team. Sorry. He and the bar team are going to scan every bottle. Don't you worry. Um, there's also a couple of people of interest that I would like you to track down on the station. Um, Jagadish is. Uh, two Orions that are also in my employ, Jagadish and Seema. Um, I just need you to find them. It so shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't be too hard. Figure out where they are. Um, because I haven't uh, seen any either of them since I got put into custody. Was um, Jagadish an Orion as well? Yes. Okay, yeah. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Too Jagadish was Starfleet Station. Yeah, there've been more Orions coming on and yeah, off the station but... recently. Eka also hires Orions <laughs> fairly regularly, mm -hmm. um, so there's a few of them in Ek that actually work for Eka's place. Mm -hmm. Oh, was that on purpose? What? Because <laughs> she said right to us, two Orions, <laughs> and then gave us their names. And then you ask if one of them was an Orion. Yeah. And I just want to know if that was you or if that was your character. No, that was me. Either way. <laughs> that was me. My brain <laughs> not working. Okay. <laughs> Tom's okay. very pretty. I just, for a second, I was like, wow, yeah. you're really getting into this role and I am here <laughs> for it. <laughs> I, was I should have said, no, that was intended. But no, realistically, that was just me being No, it's kind of now. You said it. <laughs> It makes me look less stupid if we do it can. No, they said with two Orions and you said, is that other one an Orion? Yeah. <laughs> that Jagadish and Orion. Is it? <laughs> All right. So, if you get those two so that I can have a talk with them and uh, also see if you can find who around the station is selling and uh, who the supplier is if they're on the station. Basically, we're trying to gather evidence here. Okay. I mean, yeah. 
We can do that. Okay. I think we should split up. So I think Kerry, yeah. you and your uh, recreational yeah. abilities and habits yeah. are probably best looking for the Therogen. I'll look for the Orions. I mean, the two Orions. Where are they going to go? True. Yeah, I'll um I'll check with my usual uh, people, see what they got. And, then, uh, uh, while I'm down there, you know, a little bit. Yeah. There. I think you should take our our friend with you. Yeah, I should go with that There's one. Yeah, happy fun chemicals. Me? What's your name again, mate? Uh, Brax. You can call me Brax. Brax. All right, Brax. Brax and Kerry sounds like a good team. We'll be fine. BT for the win. Yeah, yeah. So uh, come on, come on, Brax. Terry, I'll, I'll come with you, and uh, we'll go have a conversation. Once we try. <laughs> so as Harry goes with Brax, he's so Brax, what kind of substances do you partake in? Oh no. Uh, uh, Brax will look at Kerry and be like, uh, "I never sample my wares." <laughs> No, not your own ways, but surely, you know, on the, you know, you can get other ways, right? No, no, clear head, mate, clear head. You got a lot of ways? I have, I have a... <laughs> so Tim doesn't understand the joke, but that's okay. Neither does, neither does Brax. Brax just looks at you, yeah, I have a lot of ways. All right, I mean, we'll have to have a chat after this. See what you can yeah. do for me. Oh, oh, uh... Yeah, all right. Yeah, uh, right. Premium cost, just so you know. Pay what? up front. Oh, not friends' rates? Even on a friends' rates, premium cost. But you definitely pay up front for anything I serve. We'll see how this goes. You won't be around afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I love the idea that, uh, that Brax just knows everything about these things, but does it necess like has a lot of wares. None of them are drug related. Nice. Yeah. Just a lot of secondhand clothing. Uh lovely. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> he's actually just a walking. He's just a consignment. <laughs> he's, just, shop. he's just winners. Yeah, he's that's just like a yeah. traveling yeah. winner. Because he's got a focus to so in so you know. shady as shady as shit, but just winners. It's just yeah. <laughs> He's a non Ferengi Ferengi. Yeah, nice. Uh, all right, who wants to go first? Do we want to look into the Therogen or do you want to look into the people? Let's Therogen it first. Let's go. Therogen is going to first. Yeah. All right. Hard stuff. How are you approaching this? How do you want to find out go. about the Therogen? I'm going to go, Brock, you stay back because these things could spook people, you know? So you stay there and mm. you're going to be the expert because you know a lot about this stuff, okay? And what I'm going to sure. do, I'm going to go to my place, my, the, the people that I know, set up a thing, and then uh, we'll see what they have. And if they have the Therogen, we'll go from there. Yeah? Sounds good. Lead on. Brax is um, Brax is truly just kind of like, at this point in his mind, they're along for the ride. Uh, this, is, this is either going to go very well, and I can just kind of coast through it, or it's going to go very badly, and I'm going to have to either save my butt and potentially uh, carry it. Uh, but at this point, Brax is just like, mm -hmm. yeah, sounds great. You take the lead. Will do. <laughs> my sister never lets me do that. Um, I can't imagine why. You're such an accomplished human. That's human? what I've been trying to tell her. Human, you're you a human? This. Yeah, I'm a human. Okay, good. Just yeah, double checking. Good. Um, right, I'm gonna go up to one of my dealers or contacts or people that I get stuff from. Sure. And friends. I'm gonna see friends. 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 You just go see... to hang out, right? You would never buy something no, that's of illicit. Course not. No. Um and I'm gonna see if they have firstly, if they have any therogen. Mm-hmm. And then if they don't, do they know anyone who does? Right. Okay, and if they don't, we'll go from there. Sounds 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 reasonable. I think that's a I think that's a good idea. All right, you approach your contact in a quiet uh, kind of cafe, mm -hmm. the back of the cafe, um, and um, this is uh, 
quite a tall humanoid, probably standing about seven foot, but seated Ooh, at the moment at a bar stool. Um, looks quite um, reptile-like as a humanoid and is um, eating up these kind of like uh, baked grubs on a plate. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then they uh, kind of uh, hiss at you. Ah, you come to see the mighty Xin again. Oh, hello. Hello well, again, I mean, Kerry. Hello. 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 Uh, and he, he flicks the hand, he puts his hand up for a drink at the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, you know, I always come back for the best stuff, don't you? So, um, yes. So I was wondering, what uh, what have you got uh, for me today? I I'm looking for something a bit different, a little bit exotic, if you know what I mean. A little exotic. Yeah, yeah, I need a it real It really buzz. depends on where you are from. If you are from there, then it is not exotic, is it? Something that hasn't been on the stage, you know, something new to the station. I'm going to take a sip of Carrie's drink as it slides across the table before he gets a chance to take it. <laughs> yeah, it's half drunk. As I'm <laughs> but like super casually, I'm just going to grab it, take a sip, and slide it's it It's probably back the, you. the weakest like lager or, or beer you could probably... It's probably just water. It's gross. I feel like this is like a CD kind of, like not particularly great. Oh my god, do I have I'm gonna now I have to decide, do I have like a wharf palette where that kind of shit is just great? <laughs> I think I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well he pulls out from under his um little kind of jacket thing. Mm -hmm. A little blue vial. Hmm. Um and he says, Ah, this very exotic. If you are not human, it is street name Bubblegum. Bubblegum? Bubblegum. I had not heard of Bubblegum before mm -hmm. I spoke to humans about yeah. it. They if still synthesize it. some Bubblegum. It is a chewable, recreational substance. I wouldn't describe it as food. Yeah, you kind of chew it and chew it and blow, bu blow bubbles with it, yeah. You know it. Yeah, I'm human. So it's not exotic. Oh, this makes you feel like the bub. <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. He takes it, he wants to, he takes it just to examine it and have a look. You Am should I... try it. My third hand will intercept his mouth. <laughs> when it is, okay. <laughs> he hasn't put it in yet. He's having a look. So it, it is essentially just some bubble gum. No, no, no. It's like a, it's a vial of blue liquid. Oh, it's blue liquid. It's it's that bright blue of the same kind of like ice cream yeah. bubble gum, like bubble yeah, gum ice yeah. cream. You get that really fake, horrible blue color. Like it's that color blue. Like nothing natural is in this. So that, like <laughs> that's where my mind went trying to figure this like random chemical out. Because yeah. not only are you asking like... me for random fucking NPC names today, Tom, you are asking me for like chemicals and all hey, sorts of made up I shit. I remember what you did in D and D, mate. <laughs> all right. Can I, so can I roll a reason in science to try and sort Absolutely. out what this is? Absolutely. Yeah. He says you should try it with your favorite holodeck program running with your most beautiful scenic scene. I just got a three successes three there. Three successes? Including... I'll give you a couple of yeah. momentum for that and a success. So what do you want to know about this? So uh, I guess the, the, the primary question for the check was, um, I am fairly certain this isn't what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, 100%. Uh, okay, but that was the check. Like I have to play a character, so... The character check was to make sure this wasn't what we're looking for. I will spend one of my momentum that I've gathered to gather information. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is this going to like just destroy Carrie if he puts it in his mouth? Like, do I have to stop this from happening, or can I let it happen and just enjoy the ride? It is a fairly strong hallucinogen. So, like any hallucinogenic um, drug, for 
you know, anything from half hour to a few hours. Kerry is just going to be quite floaty, quite out of it, gotcha. really feeling himself, you know? So might be fun later. Definitely not now. Definitely All right. not while on the job. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Um, uh, I will I will just be like, that looks great. And I will grab it from Carrie. Hi. And I'll, and I'll say, you can sample later. Uh, and I stare at the bartender. For now, um, I'm going to pool the other momentum for mm -hmm. uh, Carrie and I. Cool. Um, uh, oh, I guess Eka and uh, uh, Terry as well, if they, if they wish. Um, uh, and I'm going to look at uh, Carrie and just kind of give him like a dude look and then look back at the bartender. Um, it's not what we're looking for. Um, and then, I mean, Theragen's like, this substance is, 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 Theragen is like one of those weird ones where it's like not totally illicit, but it is illicit if you use it the wrong ways, right? Like it's it's one of those it's not illegal, but how it's used can be. I just want oh, to like, but clarify. I mean, being a nerve agent, like in the Federation, Theragen is absolutely it's, illegal yeah. in every way, both in a war crime sense and in a normal crime sense. But wasn't it wasn't it used in like wasn't it used in one of the episodes to help? It's them? an original series episode that it was used in. But in a negative way or a good way? Uh, I think they calmed down some Klingons with it. Yeah, okay. And then, okay, right. according to Memory Alpha, Scotty goes off with a bottle of whiskey and some Therogen. And that's, just yeah, isn't that's seen, the thing I have in my head. And yeah, just yeah, yeah. isn't seen for the rest of the episode. So he just gets drunk and high. He just gets okay. high on Therogen. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So that's yeah. that's the vibe I have in my head about this stuff. And cuz uh, like fun chemicals, right? So Oh my god. I didn't even actually see this. Sorry guys. Memory Alpha has given me you take 3 cc's of therogen and 500 cc's of alcohol, specifically mm. ethanol. So Tom, for your question, Memory Alpha has the exact <laughs> answer. You. That is the Thank chemical you. composition, everyone. Don't make it at home. Important to know. That's that's obscene. Um, uh, okay, uh, uh, so I'm just going to look at the bartender and be like, this isn't what we're looking for. Um, and I would like to roll presence and can I roll a presence in science because this mm -hmm. is like a, a like chemical mm -hmm. conversation? Mm -hmm. Okay, I would like to roll a presence in science and I would like to use either... Uh, I got fun chemicals if I can still stay with that yep. focus. And I would like to, I would like to kind of like, we're looking for, and I'm going to give like a street name for it, uh, Orange Lollipop. Okay. No, Creamsicle. It's called Creamsicle. Because if I remember, it's like this toxic orange color, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, we're looking for Creamsicle. Uh, and I'll make, I'll make that roll. Tom, do you want to help me? Yeah, sure, I'll help. Use right. my contact, so why not? Uh, what do you want me to do? Like, it, it would be presence, presence in something and medicine. Cool, Good enough for me. Just one die. There we go. With three successes three. and a difficulty Boom. of one. You get two more momentum. Ooh. All the pool, and Sin says, ah, "I'm afraid I am not." person you are looking for but i i'm gonna I, i'm gonna leave a tip of a slip of latinum and say you wouldn't happen to know who we are looking for speak to a klingon named shem down in the lower levels where they like to stab each other and Fight those pigs. They are kind of wild, aren't they? Carrie, I imagine you'd do well at fighting a pig. Let's go it's find out. A, it's more of a Terry thing, but yeah, I can hold my own. <laughs> uh, do you want to spend any momentum uh, to do anything? Create a tree. No, I think we got what take, we need. Take, take, take you, you have no questions? Any questions? Not to spend momentum. You know what? I I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend one of those two momentum that we just gained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
are they lying to me? Like, because this is a presence check. So mm -hmm. I want to, like, I want to, uh, uh, I guess it's more of an insight, to be honest, but mm -hmm. I want to try and get a vibe for if they're like, are they setting us up? Like, did I just activate some sort of, like, alarm bell in their mind? Do you know what I mean? Like, I get that that's more of an insight question, but, like... Uh... For sure. And actually, I'm going to kind of um, role play this out, I think. Uh, okay. They basically say, I would love to get in to that business, but it's a very controlled group. They don't like outsiders, I take it. They like that they have the monopoly on such gotcha. substance. Understood. But I have heard that Shem is your woman. How much, how much would it be worth it to uh, get some controlling shares in said monopoly? I don't you kind know. Of have to, you've got to buy your... You don't buy your way into that. You kind of... Normally, you kill your way in or something like that, right? Uh, I look at, I look at, I look at, uh, I'll look at Carrie dead, deadpanned and be like, oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Right, anyway, thanks, Shem. I'll um, try, uh, we're, oh, yeah, can I have my, uh, I'll try that later. Um, I've got the bubble gum. Yeah, I know, that's what you like. I'll try it later. Uh, <laughs> Rax, I'm going to want that back. And, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you in. Uh, I'll see you uh, probably next week for something else. <laughs> Such a dark episode. <laughs> yeah. All right. And he waves three arms at you. I just, uh, I'm kind of making his alien up now. But yeah, uh, he's an Adosian too. Yeah, I wave three yeah, arms yeah, back. No, like three on one side. Oh, nice. It's a, you know, wave. So it's yeah, one yeah, side yeah. of your body, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. The weird lizard drug dealer man. Lovely. Okay. Um, <laughs> Terry. Yeah. You're looking for people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta not do my Bobby voice. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, it's so true. close. Very true. <clears throat> I'm looking for people. So, um, yeah. yeah. So she's gonna be doing like. You know, in, in DS9, they stand above the gallery and they look mm -hmm, out, mm -hmm, and you can see mm -hmm. all of it. So she's going to do a bit of that, like assessing his like, Yeah, some proper yeah. kind of, you know, physical surveillance. scouting, surveillance job. Yes. Yeah. Cool. All right. Roll me insight and security, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Can I assist yeah. as uh, <gasps> I'm the person that's employing these folks? Sure. Just, like, yeah, I might know their habits okay. a little bit. Exactly, that's, that's really tiny. good. Yeah, I like that. So you could add like um, you could add um, presence and command if you're kind of telling them where okay. exactly where to go and what to do. You could add your uh, reason and I don't use command, command very often. I guess. So let's do, uh, or I could do insight and command. Just to be like I I know these people well enough that I might know. But where you're more, I think, go. conveying that information. Mm, okay, so, yeah. Like, let's do presence and command. Yeah, cool. Okay. Just, okay can I that. use my focus of surveillance and counter surveillance? Because I'm no, because that's nothing like what you're doing currently surveilling the situation. L listen, I'm just being respectful. Okay. It's like, does a twenty-seven hit? No. Does a twenty-seven hit? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> You've got an assist there from Mecca. But yes, absolutely, your focus applies with that. I got one success. More than success. Um, okay. So two total. Two total. Um, okay. You, uh, I'm just going to show you as a success. You, cover, you have to cover a lot of ground. Deck three, I think, is the Galleria is a huge deck. Mm -hmm. It basically is like three decks just because of like the the nature of the like installing different storefronts and stuff like that it's on multiple levels mm -hmm. and everything you've got to basically kind of circumnavigate the station a little bit even with the kind of behaviors and habits that Eka is has briefed you on you cannot find them 
on the Galleria at mm. all. You have two momentum I think you should spend to gather information. I think we should gather some information. What questions would you like to ask about their missing nature? I mean, last known location is probably a good one. Oh, uh, if anyone has, you know, seen them in the time that Eka last saw them. Yeah, okay, let's spend that. Has there been anyone who's seen them? I you... asked totally non-threateningly. Well, yeah, I mean, like, you can, you can ask around. I think what actually happens, or is the case, is that you overhear a couple of... Um, kind of loose-lipped uh, security officers talking, uh, like Starfleet security officers talking, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, about um, the bust on Eka's place and how um, the commander thought that she'd, like, you know, busted the whole Theragin problem out and blah, 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 blah. Um, and they do talk about how um, they basically kind of identify, in your mind, identify Jagadish as being taken to the uh, security officers. Um, but then uh, not questioned. And uh, I think the real clue is that they were saying, like, strangely, he was turned over to uh, Klingon custody. Oh, so he was there it is. I was waiting for it. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the other question. Hmm. Where are, where are, you know, if there's someone was to be sequestered into Klingon custody and it's not like general station custody, where would they go? Like, where is that? So um, the station, like a lot of it in terms of the upper levels, has a kind of duality to it. So there is a kind of Starfleet, there's Starfleet bits, there's Klingon bits. Um, let me find the station or more information on the station because we do kind of have it around somewhere yeah here we go so under the render station fold we've got the deck plan uh let's have a little look at the interior layout um level three is the galleria six seven is medical um so i imagine then that like klingon uh it's going to be around the, the the higher like levels uh, essentially. So, because it's various, various like offices and stuff mm -hmm. um, around uh, ops and like level one. Um, but there, there is a, there is a couple of other kind of custody, like Klingon custody things, uh, both around the Galleria. It's like having little police station stops, right, all along the Galleria, yeah. like little security offices and stuff, because it's quite a big place. It's kind of you know, it's like town city kind of sized. Um, but then also, like, you're aware uh, of the fact that there are also, like, little, cl uh, you know, Klingon, uh, I'd say they call them, like, barracks, wouldn't they? They wouldn't call them, like, security offices or something. So, like, there's a couple yeah. of, like, little barracks and stuff on, like, the lower levels, um, you know, near the reactors. And you know that's where a lot of the, like, Klingon... Um, like, training facilities are and, like... The refusion reactors is uh, is near where they have their like fighting pits and stuff as well. In another life, yes. I know it well. Mm -hmm. You may have done a little gambling of that here and there, you know. Mm. Uh, if fights. he's been taken into Klingon custody, and if it's the wrong kind of Klingon custody, chances are we don't have much time to get him out alive. Yeah. Silencing witnesses is uh, kind of the M.O. of the people that we're dealing with right now. Who are we dealing with, or is it a need-to-know basis and better for me not to know? Uh, well, you remember our, uh, uh the Orion that, uh, I had the meeting with last time? Yeah? She's part of it, and I think, uh, a high-ranking member of a Klingon house is another. Okay. Alright. 
And why are they after you? Because I made them mad. Right, that wasn't very smart, boss. Not usually. I was trying to help out a friend. See, that's your first. That's your first problem. Just don't have friends. Much easier. I mean, you don't have friends. You have family. Oh, I can't look more of a dead weight, to be honest. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I love Kerry. Uh, right, are we going to go get these people or what before they get murdered? We could get around. We could stay around. We could be all sappy. Or we could get down there and rescue your fella. I mean, he's not my fella, but I want to make sure that he's safe. Right. Just... Hold on one second. I'm gonna go to the security office mm -hmm. to talk to, uh, what was the, uh... The commander that again? interviewed yeah. you? Uh, yeah, yeah so, uh, Commander Develli. First name, Saar. Develli? And she looks up from a pad. Echo. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Where's, um, uh, last I remember, I managed to exonerate both myself and, uh, Jagadish. Where's Jagadish? Uh, transferred to Lieutenant Carbell's custody. And you'll know Lieutenant Carbell is, uh, the kind of Klingon counterpart to the commander here. Cabell is the kind of Klingon security officer. If he was exonerated, why was he transferred? Says here that the transfer was before the uh, release. But so I, sorry, I don't know his whereabouts right now. You'd need to check in with Lieutenant Cabell. And uh, all that information that I told you about how uh, how a certain Klingon house might be behind all this. And she like and you just leans in a little bit. A, you just let a prisoner get released to the Klingons. As you do. <laughs> Anyways. Good for thought, and I'm gonna walk out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, where to next, folks? That was the, if he's dead, that's on you. <laughs> uh, I guess we head down into the bowels of the station towards the, uh, the more secluded Klingon security areas. Wait, isn't that where Tom and I are heading? Are we gonna join back up again? Yeah, why not? A plot might meet the B plot a little bit. Yeah. Uh, oh man, what? None of these sound vibe things kind of work for this. But I don't want like a pit fighting. Ah, whatever, pit fighting. There's always pit fighting in the Klingon thingy, so we haven't been down there in a while. Which one has to go for a good pit fight soon again? Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while oh, since he's been stabbed. Oh, you fighting on bubblegum. It's just basically like a holiday, all right? Uh, actually, no, I tell you what, because I did a little bit of character <laughs> research before this. <laughs> As the four of you actually, just surprisingly, for the sake of the fun, meet up, uh, do a little bit of a, oh, we're looking for things. Oh, we're doing the thing. Um, <laughs> we do the Spider-Man meme. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Klingons are obsessed with a new game. Ooh. Eka, you recognize it immediately as a veteran of this sport. They are obsessed oh. with velocity Is it right velocity? now. Velocity! They're obsessed with velocity <laughs> it's the right one now. The focus that they, I have never used. They have. Um, a mix of different phases because the disruptors just fry the little circuitry of the little buzzy bee that flies around. But this is like Eka, this is like velocity, like Klingon style. It's this like oh, spiky so little drone that's gonna like stab you and stuff. Um, 
and you're allowed a melee weapon as well as like um, a like phaser, but they're using different variant like alien phasers and stuff, like little Ferengi phasers and stuff like that. Um, wherever they can get their hands on. Um, and so this little drone, like you can see in various kind of fighting pits or little sporting pits, this little spiky drone is like flying at competitors and then they're like smacking it away or phasering it off and then it kind of flies off and, and like bounces around these little like um, force fields um, in, in the pits that they're fighting in, bouncing at their other competitors. So there's two people in a pit and they're basically trying to play like squash against each other with phasers and this big spiky drone. And everyone's fucking playing it right now. Just everyone. Rax looks over at Carrie. Hey, we can make some money. You want to go? Uh, <coughs> let me this is, this is Sorry. not oh, your. Yeah. Give it a go. That, that a cheap beer. Velocity. Oh, you're good. No? This is not your run of the mill velocity. It looks like they've modified it a bunch. Uh, is this, you know can this I sport? add something to this just for fun? Hmm. Mm. Always. Because this has to be Klingons. This, ha this has to be like a life or death thing. So, yes, yeah. it's a spiky ball. Yes, you've got a melee weapon and you've got your disruptor pistol. But I also want the court to shrink every so often. Yeah, 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 Ro blood, uh, royal style. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. You heard it Just here to first. Just make it a little bit more dangerous. It's been brought into Star Trek. <laughs> in the central, uh, okay, let's, let's bring it back in. In the central pit, there is a big digital display in Klingon. Um, that if translated, and for the sake of it, because I don't know, everyone can read consoles, right? In the Star Trek universe. For the, you know, the translated, basically kind of translates to uh, lethal style velocity. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we get that little vignette, right? We get that thing, there's like two Klingon warriors facing off against each other. She's like, you know, just phasering off the little spiky thing. It's spinning out spinning into lots of random different directions as the as the shield you can see that like the force field like shrink and, like <laughs> like shrinks in um as it bounces off and it hits her opponent he howls in pain and you can see that kind of um necrotic kind of effect on the flesh as like a venom or something like seeps into his venom and he like oh it's poisonous too like i love this falls falls to, the, to, falls to the ground he starts to kind of fit you know a little bit as well you know, the only way to make this worse is, is then they eventually add bees at the end or something <laughs> bees it opens bees. the ball opens and it's full of bees <laughs> But yeah, it is, um, it's, that that is poison. It's it's got some some chemical in it that is like taking murder these, hornets, mur is murdering these Klingons. I'm gonna look over at Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Uh, yeah. uh, Ten to one odds says that's our that's our that's our contact. Um, that's right. Yeah, I need to check out, uh, find out who Shem is. So I'm gonna go around the things, you know, like as I as I do. Um, and just chat to people, get in conversation, get involved in the game. Not actually involved, but, you know, in the crowd and cheer. <laughs> and, and then ask for, oh, you know what, you know, like, to say, like, you okay. can talk, talk, talk. And, oh, you know, like, would make this better. You got, you know, anything to make it, you yeah. know, this more exciting. So, you know, yeah, that kind so this of is, it's more of a steely crowd, right, obviously. But there there are still lots of clings, but there are, you know, other species here as well. So it's not like yeah. you're we'll standing out entirely you know in yeah. this crowd so yeah <clears throat> yeah you can speak you can try and be pally pally with klingon but being pally pally with klingons is quite hard like they kind of I'll, I'll culturally just... speak a different language not literally yeah, might... but like culturally right of of if so... it isn't you know i'll go for a non-klingon because you know like, okay all right uh okay you know, so it's... this is tom this is going to be difficulty two this needs to be right. presence okay? okay uh but i'm willing to kind of like take a suggestion for your skill that you want to use um maybe daring yes go, okay go daring you can go you could go daring instead daring risky. daring um, and what 
I mean, I, I can't do medicine. Command. Maybe a this is this. I think this is command. Medicine. Daring command. Command. Yeah. Can I assist? Being... Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, what about security? No, it's command. If I'm being slightly <laughs> I, want, I want to assist, and I want to use my focus infiltration. Lovely. Okay. Ooh, yeah. That's good. Uh, Why aren't you, you doing this? <laughs> if you can, if you can roll presence. because uh, I'm truly for me. enjoying the ride. Yeah. Right, it's a roll daring presence and command. command for me. Uh, yeah. Um, we got no momentum. Difficulty two. Do you want to add any Yeah, I'm going to buy a die. You're going to yeah, buy a die? Dice. Okay. So yeah. I'll take up to that 11 threat. And I really... This is going to... This complication range is going to be an 18, 19, or 20. So <gasps> what? Is it three? Yes. Complication three. range is three. Right. Bad things are about to happen. Increasing the complication range and Terry, getting so. threat out of us. Oh, Terry's... Yeah. Terry's gonna be nearby, so. right, with a gun and knife. I mean, you gotta show off, Carrie. You gotta show Terry you're worth doing this on your own. You can. You don't need them all the time. I mean, right? I don't. I'm pretty. Exactly. I'm all right. I'm all right. You got this. You got, got this. And I'm kind of giving like the. I've I'm giving like soul. the shoulder rubs, like the buddy buddy. Like you got this, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So one's like two hands are shoulder rubbing the it's back. Easy. Third hand is giving him a pat on the back. Oh, watch. Easy. Boom. Oh, there's the two successes two and successes. I assist. Say hey, team Brax, no mate. complications. You know. That last that one was close, well. though. It was a 17. <laughs> 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 close only counts on horseshoes, hand grenades, and thermal nuclear weapons. It does not count in this point. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you ask about um, Shem and the guy uh, that you're talking to points at the um, winning competitor and says, you're looking at her. Huh. Everyone's looking at her. Gives you a little wink. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it. Yeah. So, uh, what can you tell me about her? You know, what's she like? She's Apart tough. From... Yeah, yeah, I but could she's see shrewd. that part. Okay. Pretty rare for a Klingon, you know, she knows her business and she runs it well. She's more of a, like a sharp hidden dagger rather than a blunt hammer that the Klingons tend to be, yeah? Yeah, your tags all tend to be, I think. Yeah. There it is. There it is. See you. See you, Sam. Right, well, uh, thank you very much. Enjoy the game, mate. Enjoy the game. Oh, uh, yeah, you too. Gives you a bit of a weird look. And uh, he's going to get up. And, you know, he's going to mingle a bit more. So it's not so weird for him to kind of like... He's trying to give the impression that he's not down here often. But he's trying to get to know the scene to see if it's worthy. So he's going to chat to a few other people, enjoy the game, and then eventually kind of edge his way towards Eka and Terry. So it's not like I didn't do a beeline straight to them once they were done to tell them the information that uh, that he's got. That that's Shem and she's of house. What was it? Ortog. Ortog. Ortog's the house that's currently in the blood feud with uh, with Burrell's house. Yeah. Yeah. We. Yeah. So uh, tell let let Eka know. Let them know all that information. Yep. And like, well, what do you want us to do? Do you want us to? Do you want me to go in contact with Shet? See if I can get some of the stuff. I don't think you need to. Okay. Give me one second. Yeah, all right, no problem. Uh, and Echo's gonna make their way to the to the velocity. Echo's pissed because this is probably one of the people that helped set Echo up, and Echo's gonna try and teach this person a lesson. Oh no. Okay. It's. It's it's probably not going to go well, but I have a focus on velocity, and I've got a decent security score. <laughs> let's, let's... Eka, mount all of the threat that you want. Yeah, just go yeah, off the take it friggin' all. wall. <laughs> let's do yeah. it. So he... um, Sam, He's... there should yeah. be a momentum in our pool, because uh, we got three successes for a two difficulty. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh my so god, So you got that 20. momentum you turn off, too. Not 20. Two. I mean, you're welcome to give us 20. No, it would be nice. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, no. Okay, Eka. Even as you approach, she gives you that like Klingon Gowron stare. I'm just smiling. Hi. 
Can I have the next match? A new competitor, she shouts, and like the crowd shouts with her. Uh, and there's like a Klingon roar. Have you played? Oh, well, this version, not really, but I'm very familiar with the the standard version that they play in the, the Holodex of Federation. <laughs> it's not that much different, though, is it? Uh, this will be too easy. And she throws you a uh, little phaser. Oh, no, I've got my own, and I think uh, I'm going to spend a point of threat to pull out a... Uh, uh, to pull out a very nice looking Klingon disruptor. Okay. The moment uh, Becca says I've got my own and pulls uh, a I'm weapon. I'm using my merchant talent yeah. uh, to right. uh, waive the opportunity cost by giving you a threat. All right, lovely. Like uh, the little, moment Becca little, does that, I want to bet. Out. I want to bet like fifty gold, like fifty strips, fifty bars. I'm going to bet fifty bars of gold press platinum on Echo winning. <laughs> I, I'm I'm dumping like a. a like a substantial profit that I've got tucked away. This is not going to go well, y'all. I know that this is probably going to be like, this is probably going to be a I have a question a bad time. in, in regards we'll to the scene, Sam. Yeah. So when the fight is going on, is there like a force field up that prevents people from the crowd interfering? Yeah. <laughs> and that okay. moves in every Can I locate the, where that force field is? Is there like a, an emitter on the ceiling or? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's let's do that little kind of like, can you figure out where the emitter is as they're just like squaring off against each other? Yeah, why don't you give me insight and engineering? Okay. Not very good, but you know, why not? I will assist. Thanks. So it's going to be difficulty you, three, sis. I think. Oh my God, I haven't got a hope in here. Uh, I'm going to spend I, two for difficulty four. Mm. Four? Difficulty four. The so Klingon just gets in your way. Because the, the crowd's just building. Uh, uh, sure, I'll give it a go, but I ain't getting this. Do you want any extra dice? No. <laughs> no. It's all going to Ekka. It's all going to Ekka. Okay, you need to roll three successes. Oh! No. Oh, so you've not. Tom, that's so close. You've not succeeded. Okay, you can't figure out exactly where this emitter is. It's probably too close to the competitors for you to figure out. You're on your own, Ekka. You got That's this. Rip. All right. Um, I forced her to spend threat, so that's okay. All right. I'm, uh, let's, let's Anita, try this. Uh, usually... I, I, I don't seem to have uh, a dick tag, though. Can I borrow uh, one of yours? <laughs> uh, and she pulls out, like... Um, it's not quite a the tug dagger and it's not quite a mechleth I get like it's a it's a, like a short blade gotcha but like with a kind of you know like um like a bit of a guard to it that's still got that blade like that um sharpened blade kind of thing to it a few more spiky bits in a mechleth all right um, okay, um, so in normally in initiative on like a combat or something, like I need to either spend threat to, um, actually, you know what? No, I am. So, okay, I'm gonna spend two threat and go get it back. Don't worry, Eka, it's gonna come to you first. So, it's like, she catches you a tiny bit off guard. Like, normally in velocity, maybe there's a kind of startup like thing that happens, but this. Like the 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 force field goes up, the buzzy thing go the the little drone goes on, and it bounces off and heads straight to you first. How do you want to fight this? We've got like fitness, control, daring. Those are the kind of things I think we'll take. It's all right. All right. It's definitely going to be security. Mm -hmm. But control, fitness, or daring? I'm going to use daring. Okay. Um, it is the best out of those three options. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to call on a value, one of my new values, because I had to cross one out last time. Yeah. Um, I crossed out, uh, what was it? 
sometimes being safe means trusting others. To security isn't guaranteed. We need to protect our interests. Okay. Love it. Uh, so I am going to uh, call on that value for the die that's already rolled two, um, two successes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spend those two momentum for an additional die on top of that. Okay. Uh, sorry, say that to me again. So I've uh, I've spent a determination to call upon a value. To get that, yeah. So I've got the one that's rolled a one, and yep. then I'll spend the two momentum that are in the pool right now to for get an that additional fourth die. die. So yep. To get that Perfect. fourth die. Uh, and then I'm going to... It would be three threat to give you... Uh, to get the fifth die? It would, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you three threat. Okay. And I'm going to roll four dice, one of them has already rolled a one. Okay, so these are going to be base difficulty of two. And then, uh, yeah, so, okay. So we've got that 11 threat. And the focus and velocity applies. Absolutely it does. First time I'm using this with focus, everybody wish me luck. You can do it. You got this. Yeah! That, that is another one, though. Uh, so that's six. two, four, six successes. Six successes gives you four momentum. And... <clears throat> Let's treat this a bit like a combat. So you are going to take... Like, people are going to take stress, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, so I want you to roll for me. Um, this is gonna be. I mean, we could just do right. like we could just do disruptor pistol damage. I think because I think we're each basically okay. gonna use that. Yeah. So roll me the. Um, roll me the three challenge dice plus your security. So whatever. So seven. So yeah. So roll roll me seven damage dice, and if you want to hit the. Uh, vicious combat roll macro you can do seven in that and it will give you um, a good uh, it will count the vicious ones as well properly where is that macro or you can just hit the attacks um, the damage thing on your own sheet if you want if that's simpler vicious combat roll and seven Dice. Nine. Uh, yeah, two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, with one resistance uh, armor. Uh, that's going to do uh, eight, and I'm going to spend two threats to avoid the injury. Uh, but she is now on. Echo's pissed. Many, uh, that many stress, sorry. Uh, so she's got a bit left. So this like just almost just skims like past her shoulder and you can see it's dripping with that like lethal compound. And something about her dodging just takes her off guard and you can see in her eyes that she like she knows what this can do. She is going to roll. Uh, so um, do you want to spend on her roll? And this is a perfect kind of opportunity to really. Um, sorry, I didn't need to show you that. Um, You're good kind of to, to make this spend. So I think you can spend two momentum. Um, yeah, it's normally like a, um, yeah, you can create problem. So for every um, two momentum you spend, you can increase the difficulty of her task okay. by one. May, may I do something before she makes a task roll? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I, I would like to spend determination to mm -hmm. to create an advantage for Eka. So Absolutely, I want yeah. to I want to have Brax shove uh, like oops, uh, not even an oops. Get out of my way! Like full Klingon mode. Yeah. Um, so I can get to the front, and I'm gonna forcibly push one of the Klingons into the force field to distract her as she takes her shot increasing her difficulty yeah 
Beautiful. Because so, I won't be able to spend my determination to make rolls on this case. So I think spending yeah. it to help Echo is the best way to go. That's phenomenal. I love that. All right, so her difficulty is, okay? is going to... Yeah, absolutely. Her base difficulty okay, is going to be three. Did you want to up that any more, Eka? Um, yes, I would. I'd like to spend two threat to up that difficulty again. All right, cool. Um, and I think how I'm going to flavor this is... Uh, the, that uh, thing came like directly at Eka first off. And I think Eka like just grabbed the blade and like sh- shot it off to the side, which almost maybe skimmed. Mm. Uh, maybe skimmed her just a little bit, like maybe on the cheek. Yeah. Just, just a touch, just mm-hmm. enough to shake, to give her like a little bit of pause. There's a little bit of that necrosis, like just you can see kind of like melts into her um, mouth a little bit, her cheek a little bit. And uh, as it's kind of pinging around, you do a couple more exchanges of like little phaser shots and stuff as it's pinging around. But then she sc- like she and she kind of wipes her uh, cheek a little bit, staring in your eyes. And as she fires again, she shouts, today is a good day to die. Which is her value. So I'm going to spend three threat to invoke that value, uh, giving me those two successes to start off with. And then I'm going to spend another two threat to get that fourth dice, I think. But I want to keep those other threat for now. So I'm going to be rolling three, adding two successes. This is daring and security. Let's see. Four. So that's five successes. An extra threat for me, which I'll immediately put into uh, an extra point of damage. Uh, hang on, I just need to... Do, do, do. Four, 43! No, <laughs> no, 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 relax. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so this is going to be... Uh, so it's going to be uh, 10, fuck me, 10 stress. Six. Okay, uh, I can I reduce this... What's your resistance, uh, Eka? My resistance is yeah. zero. Okay. You're wearing clothes, aren't that, you? Yeah, no armor. Um, so if you um, if it fills up your stress track and it's over five, then um, you um, will take an in, like take two injuries. You can avoid one injury. Okay. Um, I have seven. Uh, my stress is seven. Max. Uh, is fitness plus security, right? Or sorry, fitness plus security uh, is uh, is what is, your stress yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's calculated off. Okay, okay, so it's twelve. Never mind. Okay, cool. I was worried. So I was like, it doesn't Whoa, fill. How the hell did you do that? <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't fill your stress tracks. So we're not too worried about that. So it's basically, um, it's like done you an injury. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'd like to avoid that injury. Okay, so we'll spend that two momentum. And you managed to just, in the last second, dodge out of the way of that little drone. It is now your turn to buy her back, basically. Okay, I think uh, Eka's going to uh, just sort of look at the cut on the Klingon's cheek and just says, you might want to have that looked at, and uh, is going to fire off another shot at the, at the little drone trying to get it to to hit her again absolutely control fitness or daring and security so we'll do daring again Mm -hmm. uh and uh i am going to uh give you some threat to get some extra dice this time Mm -hmm. how much would you like i think i need Let's do, I'm going to give you three threat to, give, to get two extra dice. Okay. I've already burned a value, so I can't get another determination unless I challenge another value. Yep. No problem. All right. Anything else anyone wants to do? Good for now. All right. Yeah, I think right. Terry's like just enthralled in the spectacle just of violence. To it. All right. So base difficulty two. Let's roll those 40 20s. 
All right, let's go. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Six successes gives you four momentum. Now, with this momentum... Uh, this is a natural uh, critical. Don't fuck with Eka. Yeah. Um, those uh, combat spends that you've got, hopefully, there on your sheet. Yeah, check it out. Bonus damage. Each momentum spent adds plus one damage. Um, or you can spend one. You might want to save a momentum to reroll any number of those challenge dice for damage. Okay. Um, I think I will increase the damage by one. Sure. So that's down to three momentum there. Um, and then I'm going to try... I'm going to roll those challenge dice again. I'm just checking. Uh, you know what? I'm going to increase the damage by two. Okay. And then I'll, I'll use the others if I need to re-roll. Yep. So you can re-roll any number. So you could keep the successful ones there. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the moment. Mm -hmm. You could re-roll three and add their I'm scores. I'm going to re-roll those three. Cool. So that's just one more momentum to spend, giving leaving you with one momentum in the pool. And just re-roll those three for me. So we're on seven what? at the moment. Eight, nine. Uh, Ten, reducing... eleven because of the two spends earlier. Okay, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. 11 down to 10 for her um, resistance. Um, but um, she absolutely, and she can't take, uh, can't uh, like uh, ignore another injury. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, absolutely. This, like, you are just the velocity challenger she did not need today. Um, and so this drone pings over the, sh the, the force fields. That and I think it's because she miscalculated. Just as this round is coming to an end, that force field comes in closer, ping, so it pings at a different angle than she was anticipating, and it strikes her in her firing arm, in the shoulder. And she goes down immediately. There's a gasp from some Klingons, a roar for some others, confusion amongst the crowd, that she falls to the ground, and you can see that, like, necrosis, that, like, nerve agent starting to seep across her body. Well, now that Brax is super wealthy for Eka, I'm definitely going to pass him on. But, uh, Carrie, I kind of lean over towards you. I'm like, hey, you, you do the doctor thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm a yeah, good. Bones. What would happen if you healed her with some of that bubble gum to get the information we need? Just saying. I mean, give it a go. I bet it would work, wouldn't it? Well, she'd go on a trip, wouldn't she? Great. Do you think she'd share when she's on her trip? Do Only you share things you shouldn't out, when you're on it? a trip? She's gasping for air and dying as you're talking. Stand back. I, really don't I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the, Klingons, the, 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 the Klingons are like literally stopping you. They're like holding you back. Because she's going to die. Right, that's it. Carrie's going in. Fists are flying. Yeah, baby. Nobody touches her brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made a mistake. All right. Eka, ask your questions <laughs> fast. <laughs> so, um, Susie, are you just trying to like break up the crowd or are you trying to defeat some Klingons? I'm trying to like make a way for Carrie to get through. So I'm like trying to draw aggro. I'm like, I'm, I'm tanking a dungeon of Klingons, okay. basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taunt. I right. hit the taunt. taunt. <laughs> All right. So I, I want you to, um, I want you to roll for me, fitness and security. <laughs> if you've got okay. like a kind of close combat or like a hand-to-hand -hand kind oh, of focus, yeah. something like that, that will be beneficial. You don't have a close combat. No, no brawling I've or escaped anything. An, I have escape avoidance, surveillance, count surveillance, and food preparation and dining etiquette. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about the food. Maybe, maybe to draw the aggro, I shut, I stand Amazing. up, and I say something really disparaging about Gach. Gach is so <laughs> yeah, great. okay, yeah. so bland. Or I just like I don't know. I, I I just do like the most horrific insult you could think right. of, like the worst thing yeah. you could say. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is going to be difficulty one. Uh -huh. um, complication range is going to be a 
17, 18, 19, or 20. And I'm going to tell you now, mm-hmm. if you um, roll that complication, it's going to be receiving an, a non-lethal injury. Good. Great. That's not... She's, Sorry, Terry, I got my face pistol. I'm ready. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I can help any one of the three of you. Uh, so I could do like a daring like command to help, to, help, uh, to help you, Terry. Carrie, I could help you with a... Uh, uh, Darian, like science, if you want to. Like... I've still got a determination. Okay, and, and Eka, not... if you want to draw information, I can help you with a with a presence uh, a presence in command too. And if somehow we can work a con out of these rolls, that goes up. <laughs> yeah. Can I answer? steer the fight? Yes. <laughs> We're going to be the suppliers for them. This <laughs> uh, I was just saying that uh, if uh, if I can, I'm going to try and extract as much information out of this dying Klingon as I can. Okay. Uh, um, okay, let's do this in order. So, I was about to say Burrell, but no. Uh, Terry. Oh. Yeah. You need Let's to roll go. me that presence and security, actually, based on what you've just saying presence. now about how you're, yeah, you're doing the insult thing, right? You're trying to draw attention yeah, yeah, to yeah, yourself. Yeah. I'm, I'm presence, trying to hit the taunt. You're being big and like, come at me kind of thing. Presence yeah, yeah, and yeah. security, that high complication range might come to bite you in the ass. It might. We'll find out. <laughs> One success. Ooh. Okay, you did not succeed. No. Because. It takes two to uh, create an advantage. Tango. Yeah, and tango. Um, I tried. I tried. So you know what? I think I'll I think I'll help because it's important that we get them. Okay. Yeah. E- yeah. Eka, so... e- Eka and Carrie need to get to this person. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Need yeah. this information. So, yeah. so I. Um... I mean, I'm right next to her, so it's just a matter of uh, if Carrie can get into like stabilize this Klingon so that we can turn her into the proper authorities. That's another thing entirely. I just want to stabilize it to game. keep her conscious so you can ask questions. Yeah. In and the background, that, I'm like, your game. mother was a target, your father smells like blood wine. I'm going to add away. one threat to my pool. Tim, you need to make a decision now. Go on, Tim. Yeah, Go I'll on. help. I'll help uh, Terry. Okay, so cool. Daring, daring in security or daring in command? What do you want? Uh, it's going to be uh, helping Terry. It's going to be uh, daring in security, right. I think, if you want to approach it that way. You're, no! kind of, you're kind of muscling in on the situation. All right, the two. That's actually you... a complication. I rolled oh, a seventeen. A seventeen. Uh, all right, Brax, you take a an injury. It's going to be like oh. it's going to be more. It's not going to be like an injury that takes you out of play completely. It's going to just uh, like you you've been hit, you've been injured slightly. It's going to yep. increase the difficulty of your like tests from now on for the, for the rest yep. of the scene until you can get it looked at. But yeah, the three of you are unfortunately just engulfed in like Klingons. You're all kind of stopped and stuff like that. Um, Anita, I'm going to do this a little bit differently because it's one of those nights apparently. Um, Yep. Every question you want to ask, Shem. Here's Shem. I've lost my notes now. Yeah, it is Shem. Yeah. It is going to cost you a point of threat. So you're going to rack up threat for questions? I'm going to rack up threat for every single question you ask her, because that's how long you're narratively keeping her alive for. Because I'm being a cheesy player, can she spend that momentum to get a free threat? A free question? Yes, you can. (laughs) <laughs> could, could, because Kerry hasn't done anything. but only sorry t- sorry Tom but only yeah, after you've asked one question with threat because that obtain information is like getting more yeah. out of the scene okay so uh, yes I'm Tim to... you can cheese it but only a little bit <laughs> only a little bit can I Again. use my determination to get to her um let's have a look I've um kind of forgotten so um okay surge of activity you can immediately perform another task as soon as you've resolved your last one you can have another go if you have your determ- had- determination okay because i didn't di- i mean did the terry thing was basically all three of us right you passed it as all yeah three so the terry thing was yeah. terry was trying to help you she was trying to create an advantage for you to yeah. then be able to actually yeah. get there but this gives you another opportunity to do so. So with determination, you can either grab a couple of extra successes before you roll, essentially. Oh, right. Reroll your dice pool. Perform another task immediately. 
or I love that it's called Make It So, but you just create an advantage, kind of out of thin air. You don't have to do anything about it, but you create an advantage for the scene. I... So yeah, what you are asking I mean, after is more the kind of surge of activity yeah, bit. Yeah. But you could also just create an advantage for Eka, but it wouldn't, I don't know if it, like, it would have to make sense in the scene as well. Like, the, the force field is down, I guess, so if you could yeah. get to her, you, you um, to, to, to Shem, you could. I just want to get to Shem to try and stabilize her. That's All it. right. Give me another roll then. This could be daring, it could be fitness. So he's essentially, instead of the present, he's going to try and weave his way in between. Yeah. Gonna, you know, so I'd take control, I would take daring. Control, okay, I'll go or, control. Or fitness. And All right. security. And security. Okay. Difficulty uh, is going to be two. Two. Don't focus. How, how, how much do you want me to be there, Eka? Just to keep I mean, if uh, if you can get stable, get them stable, I can get more time. But other mm. than that, like, there's no. I, I would assume that there's no saving this person's life at this point. No, okay. if you got them stable, then it would take okay. away the kind of threat cost involved with keep questioning them. Okay. I think is how I would do that. All right. Because yeah, there's a momentum, that... but I don't want to spend it unless you keep it for yourself. You know. I mean, I'm I'm cool if you want to spend it. All right, I'll spend the momentum. Spend it on a third off. die. Absolutely. Difficulty two. Fuck me. What was the roll on that complication? Uh, it was a 20. It was a 20. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um... Okay, you don't succeed. Mm. Uh, you're also going to take an injury as uh, the, the Dak Tugs are out now and this yeah. is becoming a this is becoming a brawl um, and so you know you got, you're getting stabbed basically oh man uh, okay. Eka with all of this chaos around you with this brawl happening around you it's like the force field is still up metaphorically people aren't actually coming into mm -hmm. the pit area but you've just got it's just you and Shem and like she is very quickly becoming a corpse Yep, I'm just going to say, um, did, uh, did you help set, set me up? She, uh, quizzically kind of looks at you for a second, and then there's that kind of moment of recognition, and she says, <laughs> It is you. <laughs> In that, like, recognition of, yes. Yeah, I think I'm just going to be like, uh, you're on your way to Stovacor and you don't have much time left, so I need a few answers. Is House Ortog working with Elagul? And why should I help you? <laughs> Call it a way to clear your conscience before you reach the afterlife. <laughs> And she just kind of, again, smiles out the corner of her mouth and she says, where do you think all the Theratin is coming from? Now I got your supplier. Great. Tell her not to die um, like a Romulan. <laughs> can I... Uh, would I be able to give you a point of threat for uh, a recording device in my pocket that's recording this interaction? You could give me... Have you spent determination yet? No, you have, I haven't have. you? Uh, I'm mostly just thinking about opportunity costs through the merchant uh, feet. Oh, the merchant uh, feet. yes, yes. Um, I'm going to take an extra point of threat in order to for it to be recording. Yes. Okay. As like a little... Yeah, uh, opportunity cost kind of deal. Yeah, it's a little kind of retconny situation, opportunity yeah. cost thing. Absolutely. Yeah. But Ecker is well, clever. They would have gone them. in with this, I think. Like this, this, this fits. This works. Um. So now we know who the supplier is. Now that we know, now we know how Sortog is uh, work to set me up, and. Ooh. 
What's the name of the leader of House Ortod? What's uh, her name again? Ambassador Yang. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask, did Ambassador Yang give the orders? She always gives the orders. That's three, okay. Uh, and I think that uh, I'm not gonna go for a four or five Alice spare the die, uh, or Alice speak with dead, and I'm gonna <laughs> actually just be like, well. I'd say you fought well, but you lost to me. And I'm gonna stand and I walk, oh, I'm gonna walk away. Um, I can go, Eka. <laughs> staggering out of this brawl. And I'm going to start feeling the injuries that I took. Yeah. Um, all four of you can find a quiet place to just, like, recoup a little bit. Um, those injuries still need to be, like, looked at. Um, I can do that. Oh. But Kerry, you've got nothing. What are you doing? Sit down. Fine, it's fine. Be all right. You maybe you've taken a, a a quick turbo lift up a couple of decks, you know. So you're kind of hanging out near the hangar bay kind of area and stuff. You can just hear in the distance the activity of the day and shuttles and transports coming and going. But yeah, well, you we might can go hide in my ship. Space. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a few cots in the ship, I imagine, and yeah, a couple of like, you are plonked like, down on them. It's like obsessively clean. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. like not a speck of dust, uh, or and like everything is in place. And I can only imagine Kerry and Terry just wrecking the place as they like go oh, in. Yeah. Like they've <laughs> just blood everywhere Bleeding now. Blood everywhere. everywhere. Feet up on dashes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just rocking back and forth. Made a lot of money. Made a lot of yeah, money. Yeah. Made a lot of money. Harry kind of, of like a lot of money. sits back of his injuries. Oh, if you excuse me, I'm going to just relax for the next couple of hours. And he takes the bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I can fix your wounds. It's okay. No, I'm going to get high now. Bye. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> best employees you ever had hey you got uh, the job done listen you actually did twice um, mox and twins tom <laughs> mox and mox and i twins. almost died twice <laughs> under your watch i'm gonna say that let's not make it a third as they as they fist bump themselves i <laughs> yeah. just look yeah. at Becca and i'm like you hire them often second time and this is the second time that i've almost died doing it so but uh, did you die though there we go <laughs> did you die though <laughs> their new slogan did you die though did you die though did you die though I need a, I need a, I need fan art of a logo and a slogan. Stat. That's what I I'll need. get on it as soon as I do the face commission. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh god. Hey, what the hell, gang? I don't know. Oh, I'm high. Whatever. Um. <laughs> I'm, we still didn't find Jagadish in the other one. We haven't found. We haven't found Jagadish or uh, Sima. This is important information, and it needs to get to someone important. I'm gonna pocket it. This is gonna go a long way to help out my friend. Okay. I'm gonna sort of stand a little shakily after uh, the heat dies down a little, and I'm uh, gonna make my way back to the Starfleet security office. Okay. And uh, the commander is still there pulling her over kind of like notes and stuff like that um, at her desk. I think I'm going to throw uh, the recorder on. There might be like a little bit of blood on it. 
And she plays it. And she sighs. And you can see in her, like, you know, her expression and, like, kind of in her eyes. As a Zack Dawn, she is assessing the kind of politically strategic situation. Um, but she just sighs and she says, You just complicated my life a whole lot more today. Sorry, you have to file reports. But I did your job for you. And I don't even like doing my job. That's why I hire people. I'm not even going to ask where you got this from. And she looks you up and down. You can probably guess. So I'm arresting this Klingon? Oh, the one on the recording? No, she's dead. And I'm going to leave the office. I would have just said, yeah, go for it, and walked away. <laughs> you, you are, like, a, a, you know, a, a few paces, like, a, or maybe a few shops down as you walk down, back down to the Galleria and stuff. Um, you are suddenly surrounded by, like, four, like, Starfleet security officers. And the commander catches up with you. And she says, do you want to maybe elaborate for me? Oh, it was a velocity match uh, in the Klingon fighting pits. So, sanctioned. Velocity doesn't... Do you know about this? It's like, a, she turns to, like, a, a security... It's a Klingon version. And she looks at you, and, like, she's about to ask her, like, fellow security officer, and he, like, looks over to her, and he kind of shrugs, and he's like... We've talked to them about it, but, yeah, they're obsessed with killer velocity now and she just kind of like she has a thousand yard stare that you imagine she's got she's had a few times here now at the station when it's come to the Klingons and then finally she just looks back at you okay we're gonna move past the whole sanctioned bit um I mean it where we if go from here, Eka, you seem to have all the answers. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to help you out. You had me arrested real quick. Exonerating me was a chore. Now I give you evidence of who the supplier is and who's pulling the trigger on these things. You're the security officer. Do your job! She walks right up to you, kind of waving the pad uh, about shoulder level. And she says very quietly so that her other security officers can't hear. You want me to dig my nails into a like ambassador level, cling on political matter on this station? Well, I mean, if not you, then who? This is way above my pay grade. Then maybe I'll wait till Oshron gets back. Send the data to him. That would be helpful. Look, I want to help you. I do. I see now the situation at hand, right? I get it. But this is like you're asking me to go up against like the Admiralty unlike ambassadors this is a lot this needs to be water tight I don't just need some dying Klingon's voice at the other end of a recording this is going to take me a while and I would appreciate any help you can offer I'll see what I can do listen I need to get to sick bay. yeah I really think you do yeah. Can you escort them to sick bay? And she's like, Slug's, not, Slug's not feeling so good. A couple of security officers, like, help you out.
and send see if I can send a message to to, uh, to Doc. Yeah, you can like... communicate us and stuff. Yeah. You know, oh, hang mm -hmm. on, we got the button. <laughs> Very excited about the button. <laughs> uh. There you go. <laughs> to Doc. Boss. I'm gonna see, see if you can find Seema for me. Are you well? Yeah. You do not sound I'm well. Uh, and I think at that point, Eka's just gonna pass out. Eka. Eka. Boss. Okay, I am um, closing the channel now. <laughs> Boss. Okay, I'm closing the channel now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Colossity Susie. Colossity? I like I like it. That's the new variant. It's gonna be etched on every like uh, panel on the on the lower on the lower decks. Um okay. Cool. Um Terry, Kerry. Mm. Rax, uh, you still have some Orions to find. Once you've had a little bit of a recoup and a chill out and a bit of a spaced out session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Still got this. You, you wake ends. up to Tellerite Jazz playing in this in the oh, ship. Perfect. What's Tellerite like, Jazz it's, like? Just argumentative. It's like it's like, it's like lo-fi, but it's counter lo-fi. So like, there's one sound, and then it's challenged by another, and then it's That's challenged by another, thinking. and then it's challenged it's like, by another. There's always but it's not duets. discordant. It just uh, works. Yeah, they yeah. always they're trying to like challenge each other with yeah. yeah like the, I love the, that. The, the, the sax plays and yeah. then the piano plays and then yeah. the sax plays and yeah. Every now and then they're on the same sort of melody, but uh, then they challenge yeah. each other. Tellerites love dueling banjos. Hell yeah. You just invented Tellerite jazz. I'm here for it. It's and then as, my as, head cannon now. As Kerry comes around, there's a little bruschetta waiting for him. There's a little wake up present. But it's Morning like Klingon bruschetta with like a slug yeah. on it. Yeah. 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 But it's beautifully done. Where I did know you how get to play. the slugs? No, you know what? I don't want to know. You, you I don't, don't want to know. You don't. Just clean it up before you leave. I'll keep a very tidy workstation. Uh, I was just in the galley. That's not accurate. <laughs> it's a hellscape in there. <laughs> On fire. This <laughs> is. But the plate <laughs> is pristine. Like the is plating is like Michelin star level. The kitchen is a disaster. Yeah, yeah. it's always the way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. We have to find some Orions. I think oh, yeah. we should use the brawl happening in the Klingon bits mm. to investigate the Klingon security because they're going to be too busy dealing with a bunch of Klingons trying to kill each other. So it's our, right. now's our time. We can get in and out. So what, you you want to get into Klingon security to see yeah. if they're in there? Yeah. I mean, if we were thinking straight, I could have probably just got arrested down there. We still can. Yeah, but now we have to get out. Okay, well, what we'll do? We'll get arrested for something minor. Yeah, I, I don't think getting arrested will help. How about we just go there and ask? We could do that. Uh, yeah, I don't I think guess. of it. I guess. You think about asking? I've never asked for anything. I'm just oh, taking it. No, I've just really just kind of conned my way oh. in. Rax, Eka. Rax, Eka. Rax, Eka. Rax, Eka. <laughs> <laughs> You got a faulty comm badge right there. Yeah. there just keep just keep spamming that comm badge noise, Samantha. Yeah. <laughs> cuts, cuts to the sick bay, the doctor just turns it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to need that for a little while. I could just moan on the table. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, Rex, you're clearly the the face. Yeah. The, the speaky one. <laughs> so, um, take you the, go. If you want to take the lead on, on Eskin... I will watch and learn intently. If, I, if I'm honest, I think they know who I am. You know, I, it's not the first time who? I've been in a Klingon cell on this <laughs> station. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Good yeah. times. So me walking Holy in and asking, shit. do they have a prison? <laughs> when I've been in there, you know. 
Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go down. Uh, okay, I'll wait outside. You go in plan B as we get ourselves arrested. Okay. All right. Oh, no, this should be lower decks. What are we doing? Yeah. <sighs> you guys are lower decks, basically. Yeah. Um, We're lower than lower decks. Okay. I'll go on and says Targ Pits. Is that still the fighting? The crowds? Yes, it is. Uh, no, it's, is it still happening? No, it doesn't need to be that. Uh, I'm going to do, let's do some like uh, industrial. <clears throat> industrial desert? That's not right. Slums, grimy planet. Let's do that. I'll do. Uh, all right. So again, going into the security offices of the lower levels. These are the Klingon security offices. It's got that architecture about it. It's got that red and black color scheme. Um, the Klingon brig is a lot different than a um, Federation brig that you're used to being, you know, or a yeah, Federation brigs in particular, you know, force fields and like cleanliness, clean lines. Uh, this place is just an absolute dump. The holding cell is basically like another tug fighting pit. There are people punching each other, biting each other, like all sorts. And there's a few Klingon officers around. Um, disruptor rifles right at the ready in case and there is a um beleaguered uh security officer um at the desk uh just drinking his afternoon away with some blood wine uh, so terry's gonna sidle up next to brax and say right we're after two orions one male one female they were in Starfleet custody, but handed over to the Klingons, and no one's seen them since. So that's okay. what this Jagadish, um, bus. They both, I think, used to work for another Orion at some point, and the boss sort of like rescued them. So they might be connected to like a big conspiracy or something. I don't know what the boss is involved with. Sounds like All they're right. involved with about thirty conspiracies. I'll just walk up to the to the Klingon. Um, I'll slap down um, another flagon of blood wine and just kind of like etch it towards him. He um, like raises his head, looks up at you, and he just says, "Kapla, Kapla, I'm looking for Jagadish. What's the other one's name? Seema. Seema. Dirty dealings with me, and I need to take out my revenge. And he like little bleeps through his little console no record wrong office what's the right office I don't know what do you mean you don't know <laughs> I look at Terry I'm like wrong office well where should we ask then if we're trying to find them? The other one is a uh, Udex that way. The other officers are above deck one. He's like pointing at the Starfleet officers, right? Like, yeah, so he's, he's saying implying? like there's 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 uh, security officers on like deck one, and then there's another security office down here in the kind of lower lower decks. All the Klingon ones. He's pointing out. Mm -hmm. You sure? Check your records again. Why should I? Because I asked nicely. I don't care. Leave. Uh, I just kind of grab Terry and Carrie. When a Klingon says no, it means no. All right. <clears throat> okay. Next office. Do a uh, Klingon security up to, the, up to the top? Yeah, I guess. And work our way down. Uh, you other head around. over to the other Klingon office, and I am going to spend three threat <gasps> as you are. If this was a star, if this was a Star Trek episode, we would have seen 
with a little bit of like you know shadow across the face lighting the drunk you know the drunken officer at the at the thing like clicking through wait another com badge here it is mm -hmm. no can't hang on hang on um signaling through uh as you are ambushed as you are surrounded oh god by some klingons uh, they don't look like they're in like proper battle dress uniform. They're, like some of them look like they're in kind of like kind of civvy clothing. Um, then uh, where's the where's the little ones? Where's the little ones? Mine now. Where's the one then? Oh, okay. Well, I've only got veterans. Cool. Bad news for you lot. Um, all right. Um, as our old three threat. I'm going to take the first turn. Um, so, uh, t uh, Tom, you're being ambushed. Uh, so. The fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, it? Uh, with a focus hand to hand. Um, so this is on Terry. You're going to, you're going to get it. It's going to be, uh, lethal. I'm going to spend a threat. Okay. It's going to try and stab you up. Uh, just oh, with two dice, daring. Um, oh yeah, so this is a it's a it's a melee thing, right? So this is a, a dice off. So you get to roll oh. as well. Um, so the base difficulty is going to be one for each of us, and I am going to spend another threat to roll three dice in total. Okay. What All would right. you like to roll? Actually, let me roll, and that's the difficulty you need to beat. Uh, blah 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 blah. blah. Two successes. You need to roll at least one success and then see how many momentum you get to beat that. Okay. Um, I will roll fitness and security. So she's like giving it the whoosh, the jukes. Yep. Yeah, alrighty. Um, oh, Do you want a dice? No. No, that's complication. Oh, that's complication. Uh, all right. You are like whatever you're using to defend yourself, you drop. No! The spatula, My boot I guess. Knife. Your boot knife. You drop the boot knife. It gets kicked off a good, you know, kind of medium distance away from you. And I am going to... Um, so I've succeeded with a uh, extra threat because I got one extra than I needed. I am going to just roll the Daktag Dagger. So this is going to be four of these bad boys. No, no dice. Going to spend a threat to re-roll. <laughs> no. Do, do that again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. All right. These Klingons are shit. I don't know if I ever actually... T yeah. I don't know if I actually ever like told you... Um, I think maybe Burrell kind There are of, stormtroopers? Yeah, I don't know if Burrell kind of... I think Burrell kind of knows this. Like, the, Shak the um, Narendra Station is a bit of a backwater assignment for Klingons. Yeah. And House or Tug does not have exactly the best Klingons in the Imperial fleet. And so these guys are a bit shit, actually. Uh, but they're giving, it, they're giving it good, good game. They're trying. They just can't roll for shit. Uh, who wants to go next? Um, I will go next. Okay. And as Terry's boot knife, I think she, you know, as they sort of ambush, she reaches for it, and as she's fumbling out of her boot, it gets knocked out of her hand. She looks up at that click and says, that was my mum's. And then she pulls her phase pistol from her belt, and she's going to try right. and just... You know, all right. <laughs> Self-defense. Yeah, all right. Um, okay, I've, I've forgotten how to attack in this. You just roll like... Uh, okay, you're looking for control and security to shoot. Control and security. Base difficulty is one. Okay. Um, gonna have a die, I think. I'm gonna give you some threats, Sam. Um, All right, one die. And maybe you'll be able to hurt one of us with one threat. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> Two successes. Beautiful, you get a point of momentum. You can spend Lovely it for extra Jeffy. damage if you want. No, I'm going to bank it in case bank anybody it. else needs it. Yeah. All right. So roll your damage. And then... Bloop. Uh, that's one, two points of damage. 
what is yep. less effects or anything uh Facebook no effects still. no nothing nothing um all right <laughs> just two just uh, two <laughs> down to one uh it's a bit of the shittest fight star trek's ever seen um it's one of these like really slow two-handed shadow yeah, fights that yeah. just Where so sad yeah 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 they couldn't get the sign off for the stunt people um all right do you want to keep the initiative or do you want to hand it off to the enemy? Um, I can... Is it uh, Tim? Tom? Oh, I just realized Tim and Tom, that's lovely. Um, do either of you want to go next in the fight? I've just had a, an attack. Oh, do you want to pass it off? I'll do you, you want to take it? All right. All right, so that's going to cost you momentum and a point of threat. What's sorry? You've kept the initiative, and you've been ambushed, and it's your go. Oh, we're keeping initiative. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry, I didn't understand that. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, fitness and security. Uh, is this a, f like, punchy fighty? Yeah, oh, I mean, NPCs aren't given a free weapon, so do I have one? or? Sure. What do you want? Uh, probably a pistol. Disrupt a pistol? Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, so this is going to be control and security to shoot the disruptor pistol. Uh, what's the damage on the disruptor pistol? Six? Uh, three challenge dice, plus, but three plus your security rating of yeah, challenge great, dice. Thanks. Vicious one. Oh, I got to roll first. Shit, sorry. That's all right. C uh, control and security. You know... Do we still have our complications from the, the damage we took in the fight? No, you recovered, right? You hung up. You hung out on your ship. Nope, I will miss. All right. No. Uh, those are so, very. Those are very D and D rules. Yeah. My my computers. My computers used to like me BMing. So sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, another one uh, is uh, I'm going to spend uh, three threat to uh, attack you back with some punchy punchy you're not going to do the dice off which is kind of trying this a little bit quicker um i spent three so that's four dice um difficulty is going to be two because it's like i'm just going to say quickly it's a punchy punchy uh thing uh so that's the task roll <gasps> a complication gang <gasps> Do you, what do you want to do with that complication? I got two successes. Let me do the. Have have a miss. <laughs> yeah. No, they they hit. It has to be something else. But it has to be something okay. else. Uh, his phaser uh, blows up in his hand. Ooh. It okay. overloads after he. Hits. I like that. Yeah. All right. Um. So there's a few shots, yeah, so that kind of takes out his disruptor pistol, but he kind of smacks you. Um, so let's do one of these jobbies. Uh, okay, you take four stress and you are knocked down. He does the old Kirk two-handed smack. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to hand it back over to... Harry. Right, okay. Um, so right. how many are attacking us? Three. Three. Okay, and someone's in front of me. I am going to get out. Uh, so we were ambushed. We didn't have much time to do anything, right? Um, so I think he would pro try and grab whatever he had, which is probably just a knife he's got on him yeah. hidden. So as he's struggling, he'll do the knife and try and shank just to get him mm -hmm. off, you know, just to back him. All right. Away. Daring and security difficulty two. Daring and security difficulty two. Okay. Do you want any dice? Yeah, go on and have the dice. All right. Take a threat for that. So roll three go. dice for me. Three successes. Three successes gives you a point of momentum. And uh, you can roll. Um, what's your um, security? Uh, my security is three. All right. So a dagger is four challenge dice included. That's including your security there. 
Uh, vicious one. So each effect is going to be an additional point of damage. We go six. Uh, gorgeous. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You want to spend the momentum on an extra point of damage? Oh, sorry. Uh, my bad. Uh, didn't you say each one has an additional damage? Each, each effect. Damage die. Oh, each effect. Oh, yeah, my bad. So those my little bad. those little arrowheads are got ya, got ya. effects. Uh, no, so no, two, I'm quite four, happy five. to have five five damage. Can I do it like this though? So yeah. you um, take them out. Five, so go for it. So I don't want to take the person who's fighting me out. So he kind of comes like that, and Kerry sees Terry fighting, and so he takes his dagger and he just throws it at the person fighting Terry to knock him out. All right. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you cool. knock him out. Cool. Um, okay, it's back round to the final Klingon. Uh, let me just let me amend that quickly. Um, we are on one momentum and eight threats. Um, I'm gonna um, spend a point of that to roll three dice, and this is the final attack coming your guys' way. It's a melee attack with a tag dagger. Four successes against, uh, who haven't I attacked yet? You. All right. Kerry, you're getting it, apparently. Um, so that's... I exposed my back, you see, when I threw the dagger. So I'll spend those two momentum I scored on two extra damage, and then I'll roll the, uh, Duck Tag Dagger, which is going to be four of these. Uh, so it's three plus one plus two is five. Uh, with a resistance, I'm guessing, of zero right now. I don't think I'm wearing anything. That I, would I don't be have an... anything written down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be an injury. Okay. Uh, you want to you spend that momentum and give me a threat to avoid the injury, or are you okay yeah, going down? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's only one momentum. Yeah, have that to okay. uh, All right. avoid so the injury. All right, so go back up to zero and eight. Um, lovely. Uh, sorry, in chat, I'm keeping up with my own momentum. I'm okay. I'm updating the overlay when I can. Um, okay, back over to you guys. Who want to take the first turn of the next round? Tim, you want to get in? Uh, sure. Sure. Shooty, shooty. No. One success is a success for shooting. I thought it was two. Uh, it's two right. for the melee stuff. Just to speed it up. Uh, three, four. Uh, oh yeah. Um, is it a disruptor pistol? Oh, that's vicious, isn't it? So uh, that's the effect five. is five. Yeah. So you take out the second Klingon. Um, the third one. <laughs> I get up and brush myself off. Screw this punching shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he goes um down um, and the third Klingon. Uh, makes a tactical retreat because they don't run away. Uh, it is, you know, trying to start to make a tactical retreat. Would anyone? Okay. Oh, I mean, all Terry. of us. Yeah, oh. it'd be funny can if we all both of us stand up and we just... Yeah, can we both shoot just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one of you can assist. Yeah, I'll assist. I okay. think you're better okay. at shooting than I am, Terry, I think. Okay. Right. You are yeah, better at shooting, right? I don't know. It's I'm, being, I'm rolling 12. I'm rolling 12. Oh, yeah, 12. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Control and security. Oh, no, actually, Sling would be 13. And Carrie still thinks okay. that Carrie is better. So, Carrie, you aim, you shoot, and I think Terry just helps you by adjusting okay. your aim somewhat. Just a little nudge at the last minute. Just high. a little. Yeah. There we go. So, here's my assist. <laughs> One. Wait, okay, okay. We well got done. this. We got this. Easy peasy. Lemon <laughs> squeezy. We got this. Squall the phase team. pistol won't blow up in my hand. Yeah, it will. <laughs> oh. Ow. oh my good lord all right well yeah, you succeeded um complication i hit an innocent no 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 <laughs> that's tough so oh my god okay i knew this episode was a little bit wow there, you are but... dark today <laughs> no you hit tom do you need a hug <laughs> always <laughs> You hit like you 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 hit a. Uh, he goes down. I'm gonna fuck it. We'll speed this up a little bit. You he goes down, but you hear the kind of 
frazzle of like electronic equipment. From my phase pistol or from what I from shot? From him. So like you've hit like a piece of equipment he was carrying. Oh, okay, okay. I, as long as it wasn't going to explode or anything. That, no, it's like he's what? secretly a robot or something. I didn't know what you yeah. were going with this. No, he just hit like a pad he was holding. He was like carrying uh, him. Oh, that was invaluable information. Yeah, it probably had all his orders information has been destroyed. So valuable that... God damn it. Don't help oh, but, but the fact that they sent an ambush after us after we just asked a simple question. He speaks volumes. And we should tell Edgar about it. You have three no, stunned sorry, Klingons we... on the floor. Because I don't Hang think on. you were going to kill any of them, right? Yeah, that yeah, wasn't yeah. The Come on, Brax. Let Terry do what she does best. She's going to tie way. him up like she's tying up a bit of beef. <laughs> you know, she's she got <laughs> ties him off little knots. Throws okay. one over her shoulder. Yeah. Or right, let's pick up a boy. Let's go. Oh, oh, pick up a boy. Okay. I hate this part. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So what was that? Tom made a sound. Um. Okay, I don't know where we're gonna take. Harry, are you okay? <laughs> no. Um. Oh, sorry about that. That was my speaker turning on. Um, we're gonna take them to like, I don't know. We would as being little shady little. Yeah, shit. we would know a quiet spot. Absolutely. We're not going to walk three unconscious Klingons on our shoulders like turkeys to Eckers. <laughs> They're already this is why under. you're the brains, Terry. <laughs> we're going to shove them in this unit that no one's using, right? Okay. And then we're going to call Ecker and we're going to get him down here. All right, we'll get him down here. All right, yeah, yeah, get him down here. Okay, so we deposit the boys. Okay. Ecker, Ecker. You can answer if you want. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Brex, uh, Kerry, and myself, we went and asked a few simple questions to the Klingons uh, down in the pits, and uh, they sent an ambush after us. So, clearly, we ain't going to go find your fellas. All right. Um, we got a okay. present for you, though. Great. Yeah, three presents. Uh, awesome. Uh, but I here. feel like Brex is not going to be available anymore. Uh, I think you know something what? Brex has Brex kind of away. gone well outside of uh, the scope of work at this point. If uh, yeah. you've already been attacked, um, uh, tell, tell, tell him he did a good job, and uh, I'll be, I'll be down shortly. I just, oh, getting stitched up. All right, yeah. oh, we're good. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, Tim. Bye, bye, bye. Pick up a boy. Deposit the boy. Okay. Built me. <laughs> um. Lovely. So you meet up, presumably, mm -hmm. and you've got the three boys. Three hogtied boys. <laughs> three hogtied boys. <laughs> three hogtied <-tied> Klingons. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I don't know if trills of Christmas, but here you go. Presents for me. Yeah. Yeah, these were the uh, chumps that uh, ambushed us. And they're all kind of like drowsy, coming to from the stun, just like. Uh, uh, good Ooh. morning, fellas. What's up? Can I can I just interject very quickly? Oh, um. Okay. I would just like to rifle through all their pockets if they've got any like house insignias, anything that looks valuable. Terry's like, ta, take that. <laughs> yeah, nick everything. Um, roll <laughs> me <laughs> in. <laughs> roll me insight and security, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna do a flat security roll. I'm not gonna spend anything. On... Yeah, I'm just gonna. Loot it's them. like difficulty what? one, right? What a success! Oh, you find, hey. find. Do you want? What do you want to find? Something valuable. Um, yeah, uh, do I be Terry or do I be useful? No, she's looking for any sort of, um, insignias, um, for like houses. Cause you know, they have like little crests and they wear badges yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, on yeah, their yeah, arms. Yeah. And she's looking for that. So it's cause it's like badges and stuff. Right. So she's yeah. gonna be like, yoink. Yeah. As it's... if she's, oh, sorry, go ahead. They haven't like, they haven't hidden anything. They're like, yeah. someone's wearing like some, you know, shoulders with, uh, 
that house crest on. Like one of the one of the daggers is like um, like carved the house crest as well. These were not clever Klingons. Okay, so she's gonna pull one of the badges off, hand it to Eka, and be like, "This is who they belong to." And then she takes the knife. She says, "I'll take this. That belongs to you now." Yeah, it's mine now. Well, go ahead, boss. Sorry. Um. Good morning, gentlemen. Brr. Feeling a little drowsy, I take it. I will skin you. Rah! And he's like struggling against the the hog tie. And he's like, Rah! all right. Uh, you know, you can growl at me all day, or you can tell me uh, who sent you to stop my friends. I will tell you nothing on my honor. Well, your honor's already compromised because they didn't kill you in battle. They let you live. Yeah, cowards. Well, I mean, them or you? Ray, I heard it. You tried to run away. I did nothing of the sort. You lie. He's a blast in your back. What do you want? Who sent you to mess with my fellas? Why were you poking around the security station? Because we're looking for an employee of mine. Who are they, then? Who is this? Jagadish. Ah, he is not on a station, if that's what you mean. Not on the station, huh? <laughs> Thank you for letting me know everything I needed to. Ah, Terry, Carrie, if you want to have fun with the boys, I'm, uh, I'm heading out of here. Right, you are. <laughs> Camera pan, right, off we Terry. go. We leave Kerry and Terry to have fun with Terry the Terry gets out the plastic. Yeah. <laughs> now there's one or two... This is a dark episode, to... y'all. <laughs> this is not a family-friendly episode. This is like... This is like modern Star Trek, but... You know, this is some of the darker dark. DS9 episodes. This is the darker yeah. DS9 episodes. Yeah. It, the, the problem is, is I could live with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Eka, any closing uh, little actions, little things, or any little um, statements, I guess? Uh, I just want to know if uh, Tadak managed to find uh, Seema. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you head back up to uh, your establishment, and uh, Tadak is waiting for you, having the bar stuff, having cleaned up, scanned everything, everything's looking good. He gives you that report, but he says... Simo is gone. So is Jagadish. You can guess who took him. I do not believe I need to guess. Well, the first two don't count anyways. Two Eight what? lifetimes. Um, I, the, the joke is I'm going to give you three guesses and the first two don't count. Because you'll know who uh. it, It's fine. It's... Why do I waste humor on you? It... Good work. And, I'm not uh, going to answer. I take it that was rhetorical. The stock? Uh, are we? We're all clean. One hundred percent clean. Good to know. Um. <sighs> Whatever she did, wasn't... her interest was in counterfeiting evidence, and then stealing away her two. Agents, abductees. Took. It wasn't necessarily with us. Oh, I think it was a little. Hmm. And what is our next course of action? Well, if she ever darkens my doorstep again, it's putting a dagger in her heart. But it's probably not going to come to that for a little bit yet. And I grab a bottle from inside the desk drawer. You check this one too? Give me believe. Clean. Thank you. Eka's gonna take a take a drink. 
I think he would serve you, right? Gonna get a couple okay. of glasses. I think at this point, Eka's like, formalities are done. Mm. Uh, and is just gonna pull up two glasses and is actually gonna serve to Doc. Nice. Because it's been that kind of a day. Yeah. And I think it's gonna, if we're wrapping it and winding yeah. it down, I think that it's gonna end on... I ever tell you about the time that I met El Rule? And then it's gonna sort of pan back from there. Nice. All right, that was eight lifetimes of business acumen. Thank you, gang. <laughs> Super fun. Ah. I think we've got it now. The conspiracy. A whole, a whole web of them, even. Yeah. Why not? I love it. All right. Uh, so lots to do, lots to catch up on when we get back with the crew in the extra dimensional shenanigans. Can't wait for if that. If we ever make it out. Next time. Ah, you'll find out next time. On Star Trek Adventures. Star Trek, Trek Expats. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you knew I know. Next doing. time. Yeah. Um, awesome. The exciting right. adventures. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, oh, sorry, speaking of exciting adventures, what are you guys all up to? Anita, what's coming up for you? Oh, uh, so we've got uh, Morning Ritual on Saturday. We're we, our guest is the Hype Goblin uh, this week. Uh, and uh, the, uh, uh, mm, sorry, brain, uh, the Kickstarter uh, that I'm a part of, the that I did graphic design for, for Caper Cyberpunk, uh, it's still ongoing. Uh, we have fully funded. We are just filling out stretch goals. We're 500 away from our next stretch goal, which is uh, all the adventures that we've written, uh, we've got written as other stretch goals are going to get compiled into like a cute little soft cover book. So you get like some adventures that you can run for your players with the game. So uh, check it out Thanks. on Kickstarter, uh, Caper Cyberpunk, and they'll uh it'll be uh it's it's really fun i got to play it the other night uh for i got to run it for some some friends on the channel and uh it was a blast that's awesome thank you so much well good luck with it all and tom Hello. what are you up to next um probably well, thursday thursday um, well thursday first I'm yes. followed by Cass for our yes. very special uh one shot i think it's a one <laughs> shot susie yeah uh where we are gonna go to heathrow this is a role we're not actually going but this is where we go to uh, we're playing ourselves in a zombie apocalypse kind of game where we go to heathrow to try and save susie uh there so that'll be a lot of fun uh where we play ourselves um i remember the last time we played ourselves and uh you know they were quite brutal, uh, to be honest. <laughs> Merciless. <laughs> um, so that gives you an indication of what, well, particularly Susie uh, was like. Um, there won't be any Phasmo next Monday, but the Monday after that there should be. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a lot of fun as well. So if you want to check out some Phasmo, because the videos and the VODs and stuff are on Susanna Grace's channel, so you can check it out there. Um, I killed all three of them. It was a lot of fun. Yes, you did. I, wow. Yeah. I did. In all fairness, the only one that truly, I truly, truly killed was <laughs> Millie. Um, so I was terrified. Uh, yeah. Was I think she had a word. Yeah. Uh, yeah, more than a few. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if you like that. to see me get bullied for about two, three hours, you'll probably like the stream. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, it's the most unhinged conversation you can think of and then bullying Tom. Nice. I yeah. love it. I'm sure there's an yeah. audience for it somewhere. Uh, what else you got, Susie? Um, as Tom said on Thursday over on Follow Black Cats, we're doing the, the zombie apocalypse thing. I'm GMing it. I fully intend for them to go, Heathrow, nah, and leave me to die. Um, yeah, but I'm I haven't tried James. I'm literally on the other James. end of the tube. Stop. I'm literally on the other end of the, sh of the line, so I'm not going. <laughs> I'm going to start I, you there. Honestly, you Susie, <laughs> in real life, if I was playing myself, Mm -hmm. You the second you said Heathrow, I went. I'm out. <laughs> I know these. These are my closest friends in the whole world. Uh, people right here. So that's what what that should tell you. Um, I had to entice James to be involved by telling him that I would be bringing a fictional version of my husband. So, oh yeah. Uh, there you go. Um, 
other than that, it's going to be pretty quiet for me for the next uh, week-ish, um, less than a week. But I'm going up to my in-laws in Quebec for Canadian Thanksgiving, which is on Monday. So um, there won't be a Friday. There will be no Bobby's Gate this Friday, unfortunately, Bobby's over on my channel. Um, but if you do want to see me in a little goblin VTuber model bopping around as I murder my way through Faerun, uh, you can do that as I play Baldur's Gate 3 on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash Susanna Grace. And I do other stuff on there too. But yeah, that's me. Beautiful. Thank you, Thank you so much. Well, if you want to follow me around the internet, I am at RPG Webby on pretty much everything. Um, and uh, for Modifius, a uh, very exciting week. Check out our Cohorts Cthulhu Kickstarter launching tomorrow, 12 p.m. UK time, midday. Um, and uh, from there, you can back the campaign for the RPG. There's a bunch of miniatures, mainly in STL format, in digital format, for you to grab as well. So check it out. You can either find out more at uh, CohortsCthulhu.com or you can head over to modifius.net and modifius.us as well for the web store. Uh, we had a little competition running to win a copy of the Roll20 module for Star Trek Adventures that we're using to play. And congratulations to Six Gun Joe. You are the winner, the only winner this week. So um, if you need to, please do get in touch with us. Um, I think April is out of the chat now, but you can get in touch with Stiletto Assassin in Twitch here, or if you need to, get in touch with support at modifius.com as well. All right, uh, that's it for us. Uh, I should probably find someone to raid as well, but we're going to go to like the load and screeny thing instead. So please look after each other till next week, friends, when we will be back with another episode of the Shackleton Expanse campaign. Until then, live long and prosper, and we'll see you next week. Ta-ta!